Hello, is this thing on? Hello? Welcome to Pat and Peach in the morning. Uh, hello? Welcome, hey. Uh, I blame the British for this one. Stop it. You can't see me, but I'm waving my hands a little bit. And what do you I'm... mean, why Why are we streaming the golden joysticks? Why not? Because, because Paige and I have been actually arguing back and forth for many we many weeks about what would probably win game of the year. And she's like, oh, it's got to be Baldur's Gate 3. And I'm like, it doesn't got to be because... It got to be. No, because people vote for Zelda because it has Zelda on the box. And also, nobody finished Baldur's Gate 3, except for New Millennium. <laughs> well, you know, the game is so long, I don't think you even need to finish it to know. Oh, I see he's there. I see him. Oh, I see. It should be Baldur's Gate 3. I mean, like, overall. You know what, Paige? I, I'm going to say something. I, I'm all, We're all the way at the end of the year. Yeah. I feel like Hi-Fi Rush is like a genuine contender, contender even now. Okay. It's so, it's so, like, it is flawless. It ha I, I played through Hi-Fi Rush the whole time and was constantly thinking, I am not encountering any flaws. I, you know, I didn't play it, but it, it looks really fun. Also, I'm super excited. Oh, real quick. Uh, King Ragels, it's Gal Galron, G-O-W, Galron. Yeah. Like from, like, like the Star, Star Trek, Trek, man. Um... I can't wait for Alan Wake to win a bunch of shit and Paige to get mad, but then she'll watch my LP of it in a week or two and be like, oh, okay, that's what, pretty Alan good. Wake? Yeah. yeah. I saw somebody compare it to True Detective Season 1, and that immediately makes it very exciting for me because that's the best season of that terrible show. Oh, ooh, goody. We can switch cameras. Careful. Yeah, I know. To this camera, yeah, because your tits is out, huh? They, they don't need to know. Sorry, your milkers be me right, be milking. That's, that's, okay, now, okay, you wake him, you take him. Here. I didn't wake him. Yeah, well, here. <laughs> here you go. Okay, now my tits is out. There you go. Look, we got a nice countdown. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I apologize. Uh, Can for... I have the pillow? Oh, yeah, you may. Sorry. Uh, I apologize for lack of camera, but because... Uh, the, our, our, our human child is joining us yeah. today. And, um, do you I'll put be, it underneath these? I, I kind of do both. I, I, you try it underneath? That That's probably better. Um, <laughs> you wake him, you take him. It's a good policy. Yeah. It's pretty good. You wake him, you take him. So Pat makes a beautiful mother. Um, he's been nursing for many months. He looks great while he's doing it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Say hello, baby, Gowron. Okay, so, okay, real goo, quick. Goo, goo, ga, ga. Pat is so mother-coded. All right, so he here's what I say. I, I think Baldur's Gate 3 is going to sweep it here and at the um, video well, if you, game. If you want, you can pull up a list of nominations on your phone. That's a great idea. Uh, I think that uh, Neil Newbon is going to just clean it up. I think he's going to win I or, think, for I, Best Supporting I, Actor. I think Ben's going to win it. So here's the thing. I love Ben. And I think if anyone's gonna take it that's not Neil Newbon, it's gonna be Ben. It, I I think I think it might be neck and neck. What do you think? I think Ben's gonna win it because more people played Final Fantasy. That's fair. I love oh Ben Starr who played uh, Clive in Final Fantasy 16. He's awesome. He's a great Twitter by the way. You should follow it. Yeah, he's um, a shit. He's a shit poster. He's great. He'll do it. Um. But yeah, so I, I think that... Uh, that oh, was... the British need to stop it. It's too early. I think Hi-Fi Rush will win something. I do believe They'll they probably are... win uh, Apology Award because the game didn't use enough money. Creepy Porpoise makes a great point. Hello, Creepy Porpoise. I heard the internet screaming about Baldur's Gate 3 so much more than 16, though. Yeah, 16 kind of fell off pretty quickly, um, which I was kind of surprised by. Um, but I guess it's not it's not that long, is it? I mean, it took me a couple weeks. Oh, yeah. But nothing's I, as I long no as Baldur's Gate 3 this year. That's fair. That's fair. Is Spider-Man eligible? Yeah. So is this... It, I, I'm not as familiar with the Golden Joystick Awards. It's the Golden Globes. But is it like... Is it, I believe Devs. Is it, is it in British? Is, is it in British? Oh, hopefully is, not. Will oh. they be speaking British in this broadcast? Boy, they are crimey. Got their fucking... You got wait, me a what a bottle. Wait, that's wrong. That's, that, that was Australian. Do you like that? 
That's good. I honey. just throw a mate on there. Say, How are you so awake? Because I don't sleep, Pat. I'm a I'm a mother. Oh, fuck off. And moms are tough. <laughs> what is that? Is that what? Yeah, it's, that is but, it. Yeah. Oh man, do you remember that part in Final Fantasy XIII when moms are tough, guys? Oh my god! And then she died immediately. Yeah. Oh yeah, because they're so tough. <laughs> she immediately died. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! All right. It's like um, that drill tweet about burning out on your fucking motorcycle. No, the be- the best drill tweet tre- drill tweet is about the the beautiful white. Very ill horses. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spit coffee on this baby. You can't do it's, it. it's the funniest tweet he's ever done. And he's he's got some bangers. <laughs> he's got some bangers, but uh. um, oh man, hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, nominees for Golden. While well, Paige Stick looks that up, awards. I'm gonna thank some of these people who gave me money. Thank you for. The money. Yeah, now Galron will go to college, and he'll be able to become a good, smart man. Well, I mean, all Canadians go to college. It's part of our life cycle. What is that? Is that like the pu- the pupa stage? Yeah, it's or? the pupa. Sometimes you like to be like, my pupa's so big. My pupa's so big. <laughs> it's too early. It's too early. I can't. All right. Oh, All you right, never finished? Oh, that's right, Fuggins. You went to college like a bunch of times, but you didn't finish them. Oh, no. Eh. He made it work. He discovered his true calling. Sluts. Aww, I've, ne- <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never been called a scamp before. I love that. Oh. It's true. Fuggins got his, uh, his, uh, what? Hmm? The, pu- <laughs> the pupil stage. Aww. Hey, Buzzard sub. Thanks, Buzzard. Appreciate it, man. Oh, yeah. Dredge is nominated, isn't it? It should be. It's fucking All great. Right, here's, uh, that's how to watch. That's not what I want to see. You know what Dredge feels like? What? Dredge feels like you're the guy in the boat before you go on public access for the Onion's old Dredge TV show. Oh, yeah? If anybody remembers that. That show was fucking incredible. Ugh. Okay, so, um, oh, Trans Moonlight. So the other person besides Ben Starr that will win for, I believe, Best Supporting Actress, it's going to be Ben Starr or Neil Newbon. Ben Starr was Clive in Final Fantasy XVI, and Neil Newbon was a starian in Baldur's Gate Three. Oh, this Bobby does not work. Baldur's Gate is going to sweep. Sweep it up. What if all the devs are jelly and they don't give Baldur Gate any award because they're mad that it's raising the bar? Raising the bar. I mean, it's possible. But I, it's possible, but that would be woefully dishonest, don't you think? Yeah, but it's... Ben, oh, you're so right. Ben Starr wouldn't be supporting actor. Hold they're on. both going to win and then they're going to kiss. Hold on. Let me let me see for best... Uh, oh. Yo, I gotta lean back with this baby. Oh, yeah, this, yeah, this, this 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 chair cool. pillow combo is not doing it for me. No worries. Me. Let's see. The best design, best indie. Best hey, all the DACA player. kicked in a sub. Called off work because of sick. Forgot this was happening today. Me too. Oh, gross. Oh, I'm so sorry. So, best lead performer, Ben Starr, is up for that. Best supporting performer, uh. Is Neil Newbon. Okay, so they won't be competing, so there you go. I like how you're saying that like they're already, like, obviously chosen slam dunk. I mean, those are my choices. I think Ben oh, and Neil Oh, fucking sick. The fucking thing broke. Sick. Did you make a sneezy poo, honey? Yes, you did. Yes. Do you have anything to say? Fucking goo goo ga ga, bitch. Can we put the mic up to him? Do you mind? Um, do, you have, do you have anything to say for yourself, sweetheart? Nope. That's okay. That's fine. No worries. Dude, what the fuck is going on with this shit? You're so cute. This fucking pile of shit. Alright, we're doing we're doing something different. What's up? This fucking golden joystick pile of fuck. Patrick, that is so not nice. Yeah, well the YouTube stream doesn't wanna do. Well, I think it's on Twitch, isn't it? Yeah, what do you look look what I'm doing. Oh look what I'm doing, woman. Oh, I'm sorry. Woman. I thought I was being helpful, and it was not. No. By the way, let me know if he starts getting fussy, okay? I mean, you'll probably notice. You're like two feet away. Right? Yeah, that's fair. Oh, no. The baby's being a little burger. 
Hold on, guys. Sorry, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it in a second. I'm going to fix it. Don't worry about it. I'm just trying to find... Does Pat have a swear jar? No. We're going to teach the baby that these are mommy and daddy's words. <laughs> you know it. You can say them when you're 18. Bro, I'm having so much trouble right now. Do you need help? No. I need to go to hell. I love Ben Starr so much, too. I think he's incredible. I adore him. I gotta fix this so we everyone can see it. I have to fix it so everyone can see it. If you could choose any D and D race besides human, what would it be? I mean, uh, I wouldn't choose fucking human. Yeah, I wouldn't choose human. That's for we were sure. we were making fun of people last night in bed. Yeah, we were that making choose the human. <laughs> the most common, uh, commonly created. D and D character is, I guess, human, human fighter. fighter, and it's like go to hell. And then after that, it's like human wizard, and then <laughs> human rogue or something. It's just like, what are you doing? But what am I doing? Okay, do you guys see the fucking thing? Do you see it? Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Great. Sick. You did it, honey. Fucking stupid YouTube. Keeps telling me to stop using my ad block, but I won't. <laughs> I fucking won't. Hey, thanks for joining us, guys. Sorry this is a little bit last minute and also extremely early for some of you. I would rather lose, <laughs> I would rather lose the ability to watch my own videos than stop. Install no script and block the page blocker. I, it, does that work? Are you fucking serious? That seems like a stupid work. Oh, no. Oh, the baby's kicking me. Bill Vru asks, are you scared that Starfield could win? He's kicking my uterus. My man uterus. Your uterus -y? All right. Um, Do you need... So, hey, uh, totally unrelated. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I sponsored Starfield earlier in the months. Mm -hmm. Um. And it's a great game. A great game. But I somehow don't think uh, it will get its just due that it deserves at the Golden Joystick Awards. Why? Would you care to elaborate? Because of haters, Paige. I see. Because of haters. Gatekeepers and haters. That's right. So I believe uh, Neil Newbon and uh, Samantha uh, Bayart, who was Carlac, will be presenting this oh, evening. Oh, cool. Or this, this morning. They're British, so they'll be awake at regular British times. It's true. All right, so I have all of the nominees here. Oh, uh, all right. <clears throat> I wish there was a way we could put it here. But I mean, I, guess... I could, but I'd have to do all this shit and again. I don't want to. It's fine. It's fine. I want to have to do it. <laughs> if you guys want to see... Uh, the nominees in full, you can go to... Uh, Some bullshit. Just look up Games Radar and the Golden Joystick Awards nominees, and it has the entire list. Well, they're going to read out the nominees, right? I know, but sometimes you like to look ahead of time and, and root for your favorite person. Hey, okay, so what's the nominee for Game of the Year? That's nominees the for Game... Because I'm just far away. Can you move that a little closer to me? No. Ugh, it's okay. Then I'll move closer to you. All right. Ugh. Uh, Gross. Gross. <laughs> I'm come on. I'm hey, your. Give me, I'm your... Kiss. give me a smooch. Oh, mm. yeah. Give me, give me some more. That, that. was gross. All right. Uh, oh god. That's how we got this. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Um. That and gravity. That's all right. That's that's enough. <laughs> that's that's so awful. All right. <laughs> okay. So it's best ultimate game of the year. The nominees for best ultimate sorry th ultimate game of the year are. Uh, Alan Wake 2, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, no. Resident Evil 4, Probably not. Starfield, no. Baldur's Gate 3, Maybe. Cocoon, Didn't even know what that is. Final Fantasy 16, No. Diablo 4, No. Forza Motorsport, No. Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon, Good, but no. Assassin's Creed Mirage, Definitely not. Super Mario Brothers Wonder, Might actually. Street Fighter 6, No. Metroid Prime Remastered. Get that? The sh come on. Hi-Fi Rush. You should. Dead Space. That, no. 
The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Most likely game to show up and be the winner and everybody get mad. Lords of the Fallen. Also sponsored. Great game. Great game. And Sea of Stars. No. Is this a shopping list or a top choice, right? I mean, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. So no camera because... Yeah, um, no lies of pee. That's upsetting, actually. Because uh, the baby is here and on top of that, like, I might need to feed him at a moment's notice. So I don't want you yeah, to... Yeah, if you can get baby noise right here. Here you go, sir. <clears throat> I don't want to shove... Ew, no. He's sucking on his hands. Leave him alone. He's busy. He, he... loves his hands. He's... They're so delicious. He's doing important work, Patrick. He's making developmental milestones. Good job, buddy. So I say it'll be Baldur's Gate 3, and if not Baldur's Gate 3, it'll probably be Tears of the Kingdom. I also, Remnant 2, another game I was sponsored for. Uh-huh. Uh, shockingly not there. That game's, like, much better than Diablo. Pat is swearing so much near the baby. Uh-oh. Oh, oh this, kid's gonna, uh -oh. this kid's gonna say some fucking horrible nonsense to the teacher and i'll be like i have all no. oh, that internet all oh, that crazy internet no we'll we'll probably try to cool it for a little while and then when when he can figure out that it's mommy and daddy's words it'll be fine hey do you have we'll, access we'll to a work. headphone oh i you know what i don't you might want to have access to a headphone that would be great thank you oh that them crazy internet now don't knock over your coffee this, pat yeah this baby does have hot takes <clears throat> i cleaned up one of his hot takes earlier <laughs> rather do, do that than listen to one of your terrible takes chat oh i thought you were talking to me i was like oh <laughs> what what did you... i thought you were saying i have terrible takes no i said i cleaned up one of his no i, no, I understand i i was confused i'm it's early oh i'm sorry he is the cutest baby on the planet he is very sweet all right go. help me you know what here i got you i got help I'll, me. I'll, i got you hold on Okay, do you want me to... Put headphones. Okay. okay. Thank is you. Is that on correctly? No, but oh, I got it. You got it? Okay. Wait, is this is this left and right? I, I don't know. The wire's on this side. Oh, no, Paige. All you right, have I'll... it backwards. Now Jesus. I'm hearing in reverse stereo. <laughs> Stop it. It's going to MK Ultra of my gay ass. <laughs> God, your head is so big. There. Ugh. <sighs> Are you hungry? Do you want to yeah. eat? No, not you. <laughs> Freak. Do you want something? Don't honey? do it. No, you want your hands? Okay. Hey, Access Review says, uh, with a good question, uh, when indie games are rightfully nominated for Game of the Year, does it kind of take away from the indie award knowing that the other nominees aren't going to win? Um, I think it's still a feather in the cap to be nominated, isn't it? Yeah. That's what losers say. Uh -huh. Um... It is. It is what losers say. You would if if we, I had said that, you would be saying that. I've never lost in my life. Yeah, exactly. So there. Um That being said, uh if you're running a good award show, you don't allow like you don't allow something to win like five six seven categories you look at what's most likely going to win and you basically do tournament seating for like like pools so that everybody get an award oh so a couple of people are asking if larian is studios is indie and i think that they um, are by technicality well technicality i think they're independent but that's, i don't that's what indie well, no means. i don't think they consider themselves indie yeah the indie designation you know makes no sense and it was indie used to be from like the 360 era prior and yeah. it was like you didn't need microsoft sony or nintendo to publish you yeah but that made every single pc game developer indie um and then indie became meant like small game Mm -hmm. By a small team. Mm -hmm. But the word independent actually just means you're not owned by, mm -hmm. like, a larger corp. So, like, The Witcher 3 is an indie game. Right? But mm -hmm. that's not what people actually say. Right. So the whole fucking thing is a mess. It's a fucking pile of shit. Yeah, it sounds like bullshit. Oh, oh, you hungry? Uh -oh. Here, I got him, I got him, I got him. Here, give him to me. Uh-oh, sir. Give him to me. Sir. Ow! Oh, careful, Oh, right? he hit me! <laughs> Oh, he struck me. All right. Hi, honey. I've been struck. Hey, hold on. I'm going to kiss him. Come here. 
Oh, he looks so Give cute. Me that guy. Give oh. me that guy. Oh, you stinky boy. Oh, you got oh, some yeah, spit up on there. Huh? Really? Oh, yeah, where'd amazing. that even come from? Well, I know I where know. it came from, but. <laughs> Hi, honey. Oh. Hi, honey. All right, so if he if he starts getting like, ooh, if Nuts. he starts getting ornery, I'll just I'll just leave. Well, we him. got the, the we oh uh, we got some garbage bags. What? Yeah, you know, we can we can we can rustle them near him. <laughs> what did you think I was saying? I don't. I got a little nervous there. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean by this? <laughs> You know, because he loves the rustle of the garbage bag. He actually does like that. But... Yeah, he does. <laughs> Come here, honey. All right. All right, now that I've gotten both my hands and arms back, uh, I can, we can, you know, I can pull that shit up, Paige. Uh, hold on. Oof. Oh, you can? What happens if I do this? Hold on. Hold on, big camera for a second. Oh, my God. <laughs> Careful what you're showing List right now, man. joystick nom nominees. Okay. The games radar one had it in full. Well, oh, that one does too. Okay. 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 I go over here, get back to the Andy, and I'm we're just... back on Andy. YouTube stream is on now. Great, thanks. Incredible. I love it when that works. It's fucking. Dude, live streaming sucks. Don't get into it. <laughs> just don't, just don't do it. Is it on like right now? I don't fucking know. <laughs> it is on right now. Oh. Live streaming sucks. Just don't do it. <laughs> it's Come shit. Come here. Okay, we're back. And there's no audio, so that's great. That's good. I love that. That's super. Sorry, guys. Well, thank you for your, your generous donations afterwards. Right now, we have to look at, at video game categories and, and, and act like we're smarter than everyone else. That's going to be really easy for me. Hey! What, I act like I'm smarter than everyone else all the time? I could pretend, too. Yeah, but you don't have as much of the je ne sais quoi asshole to yourself. I don't know. Oh, this is a this is a fine show. <laughs> this is a fine fucking show. All right, hey Logan and Bennett gifted two subs. Thanks, Logan and Bennett. Shen sub. So to SCP Pod. Thank you. So did Cedar Row and Misty Mountains. We kicked in a sub to say baby. No, nope, but no face, just picture. Thank you. Hatefish sub. Thanks, Hatefish. Welcome to the Golden, Golden Joysticks, where BG3 will win Game of the Year. Hi-Fi Rush will win Aust of the Year. It better. And FF14 might not win Multiplayer Game of the Year, considering how good the net code of F SF6 is. Oh. If there's a category for, like, best community, FF14 should win it again. I think a couple years ago, Destiny 2 won best community, and it made me laugh so hard I almost fucking threw up. <laughs> like, I, I, I couldn't believe it couldn't believe it i would absolutely kiss optimus prime would you pat mm -mm. what are you kissing his face plate the plate huh i guess that's fine <clears throat> it was community support man that's even funnier leonard that's even <laughs> funnier destiny 2 here's our community support half the game you bought in the trash ha 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 everyone is fired community um <clears throat> Uh, robotic Rex Keck sub to say AO 82 years. Thanks, Rex Keck. Wow, this show's incredible. Thanks, England. <laughs> Are you serious? Saved the world. They fucking forgot to turn on the fucking feed? Oh, this is gonna rule. Yo, are they eating dinner? Can I get in on some of that shit? Oh, this is gonna kick so much ass. This is so great. Oh. What's up with Britain? A saga battled a ticking clock. Let oh, that's uh, dogs, Tyler and made gaming huh? more accessible. It's Amelia Tyler. This oh my god, it is! Brings people together. Yay, Amelia and Tyler! Today, we're here to do just that. For those of you who don't know, Amelia so Tyler together, is the narrator of Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, Welcome she also went to the Golden Joystick Awards. I don't know that. 
I'm sorry, it's supper in Britain. I did not know she was the wind Please wife. Please welcome your host, Troy Baker. Oh, oh Troy is back. Oh, hey, I, I've i stood next to him. We, we found him after Paige scared him away. I did not scare him. Someone just said my name, which helps me remember who I am. Oh, I this am is going to suck tonight. shit. Welcome Patrick. to the 41st His annual. His audio is wrong. Awards. I'm putting on a better yes. show out here now, than this fucking thing. Right off the bat, I'm going to let you guys know. Oh, yeah. I'm not like every other award show host. I'm not going to come out here and try to win you over with my comedy. I'm not going to say a bunch of dad jokes. No. I'm cringing, guys. I am more like gaming awards cool uncle. I'm gonna throw up. Just I'm so angry. Oh, you decided oh, you it was this is your oh, idea. Oh. Like to spend time with those who do. oh god. Why did you aw? Did you groan? Did you The moan? fucking microphone oh. in front of him isn't on. Juries, you can vote for me. It's true. I don't have one award. That is an absolute truth. Which let that just be a lesson for all of you here. Some people may not like me. It's the annual 41st edition of the Golden Joystick Awards. Good, you're with hell? me. That's all that I needed. You're not uh, Billy so Joel. All of you watching online, none of you are Billy Joel. Joel. And this is the first time for us to be back live since 2019. <laughs> yes. All right. So how many days so until we get a thing about how all the devs are sick from the, the Fun COVID? Fact, some of you may know this. Oh, there's Ben! Not, I see him. Hi, Ben! He's wearing a Final Fantasy VIII shirt. Awesome. He's so cool. And a, and a red leather jacket. Yeah. He's so Some cool. That's a cool look. Uh, other notable events that year. We don't hate Troy Baker. I love Troy Baker. No, I hate Troy Baker right this second. But that's different. Seventh birthday. Nolan North celebrated his 30th. Hey, I, I told him, by the way, he's like, you should probably get Nolan North to do this. They wouldn't listen to me. I, did you see the lady in the glasses who also not is not having this bit? Just, did yeah, you see that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You and me, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really Nolan's hard to hear him. I'm so sorry. Can we turn? Can I we can, turn? but we're going to get our asses blown out. You better remember 1983? In 1983, that's the last one, I promise you. In 1983, we only had five categories, and you had to send in your votes by cutting out a coupon from, get this, a physical magazine. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> by the way, for all you millennials, uh, mm -hmm. a magazine is an actual paper publication. You stupid that you used goofball. to read. It's not just an item. Oh, you wanted to say Millen something different. Gen no, I didn't. Gen Z so people actually play doesn't know what a magazine is. Great. Millennials, um, <laughs> what? Oh. I think watching Listen, this without aside, the microphones keyed really in is uh, an experience. All of the games that started you're, production. You're barely not COVID a millennial, dude. I was born in '86. So you shipped a game this year. <laughs> goof. Congratulations. Okay. They turned his microphone on. Achievement unlocked. Thank you. Yeah. You guys beat the odds. It is truly a miracle. That a game got shipped, and the games that you but guys how old is released Baker? this He's not year that much resulted older than us. in an overwhelming response from the voting community. Millions, literally millions of votes were cast to decide who's going to take home these historic trophies. But the pleasure of presenting is not mine alone, oh, as I will be joined by a he's 47. from across the game. Wow, he looks great. So he's the Gen X. Okay, he looks incredible. It's been one hell of a year for video games. Yeah, fantastic. Are you sure? Uh, we got a few yeah, exclusive just trailers in the up. mix uh, oh, to keep you on your hot. toes as we build towards our final award, where we'll, of course, crown the ultimate game of the year. So if you did not go to the bathroom, you are I feel like them luck. calling it ultimate game of the year a is a way pace. to That's stick it thing, to right? other to game of the year. A little bit. That's a little bit. Um, but How's our man doing? We get into he's the awards, oh, he's great. I love him. Very special musical performance to open the show to celebrate 15 years of Blooper Team. Here is Polish singer Natalia uh, Schutterer in a rendition uh, of the timeless classic You Are My Sunshine. Oh. No, no. What? Paige, this is a this is for Bloober team. Oh. This is a Silent Hill thing. Oh. Oh my god, this is so crazy. This is so crazy to me. <laughs> oh no, it's Layer of Fear. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Wait, why is this bad? Those games are trash, dude. Oh. And they're uh, they're they're rumored to be somewhat plagiarized. Oh. So okay. Oh, should I not talk over this? Oh no, go ahead. 
Okay, I apologize. Uh, so I, I actually love Troy Baker. I genuinely do, which is why I was so embarrassed that I, that I annoyed the shit out of him at a party. With an 18-year-old Spider-Man? I was dancing. I didn't know you he were, was... You were threatening. I, I was not threatening. No, I mean your dancing was threatening. Oh. Well, I wasn't even dancing at him. You were doing like the full body duck and throwing both your hands straight up in the air. I didn't know he was there. You did know he I was didn't there. Know, no, I knew Troy Baker was there after. No, before you were drunk, we looked over and said, hey, look, there's Troy Baker. Yeah, and I went, who? And then I... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... How much I love you. I have to hold on. I have to say that Bloober teams like. Oh, we should. Oh, the sound's cutting out by itself. Oh. So, uh, so for those of you who don't know, uh, we went to a Rooster Rooster Teeth, um, Rooster, Rooster Teeth X in what was it, 2019? Yeah. And uh, before the pandemic. Yeah, and I. Uh, it was me, Wooly, Punch Mom, Pat, and like uh, a few other people were there that we knew. And then I, I just like I had you like out of a little too much to drink. Yeah, and by that I had like two drinks instead of one. But and I started like dancing at Wooly for some reason, yelling "18-year-old Spider-Man." Yeah, I remember what was going on. And I guess Troy Baker was like behind me, and I was like a posing at Wooly. And then I got I got like five girls to join me though. Yeah. It was you and, uh... Can you lower the volume, I guess? Yes, please. Yes, Peach Jars was there. She is so lovely. She was there. It was awesome. Hey, come on. I need to mock these for a second. Oh, Hold go on. go right ahead. Okay, so I think Blooper Team, with their layers of fear thing, going with the absolute most hack shit conceivable, which is nursery rhyme played for horror, is making me really excited for Silent Hill 2 to be remade by them. How long is it? Well, normally it's like four bars. Um, Please don't take my sunshine away. Oh, oh, little baby. Why does that lady not get to be in the spotlight also? Because she's technically the, uh, the, the backup harmony lady. Why are they singing nursery rhymes? I because uh, nursery rhymes in a sad key is scary. Paige, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna be really. Am I yelling? You. Am no, I yelling too no, much? No. Okay, I got This is a really bad start to this show. It's not great, Pat. It's a really, really bad, it's really great. bad start and to this also, show. And also, poor baby Galron is displeased with me. Oh, is he? Why? He, I don't know, but he doesn't want to eat either. Maybe I need to kiss him. I think he's also bored. That helped. Wow, she's really pretty though. Yeah, well, she's a Polish singer. Oh, well, yeah. That's how Poland makes him. I'm Thank taking the so heat for this us. one? Oh, no. Thanks for having us, and congrats to all the winners. Have oh, fun. my God, she Bye. is so beautiful. Wow. I love you. I, I loved your song. Goodbye. Are you sad? Wow. Come on, another round of applause, please. That was incredible. <laughs> Beautiful and creepy? That's my vibe. All right, Th now I promise that's you this a is bad vibe, the last segue before we get into the awards, but I do have a little bit of housekeeping uh, here to make sure everything runs smoothly tonight. If you are lucky enough to win an award, know, please come up uh, via this what? side of the stage what, what, to collect what, what, what your the trophy. Fuck? Why did they cut to an empty fucking microphone? Your speech. Oh my God. Uh, you'll know you've gone too long if you start hearing that weird music <laughs> that you do at the Oscars. And we're not gonna we're not gonna do that at all. Um, what is happening? Please feel free, uh, Chris Judge here. No, please feel free to take as long as you need. I love what? him. He's making fun uh, of Chris when Judge. When you're done, please Why? head to the center because, of the stage. Because we'll get a quick he took snap, too long. Uh, with our photographer, and then you can head back to your table to enjoy the rest of the awards. Can I have dinner? So, with that out of no. the way, it is time to kick things off. Shall we get into it? No. Yes. All I right. guess. First up is best storytelling, and I asked that oh, I tackle the first game, one. Sure. So for the past Around 12 me, months, it has been a groundbreaking period for storytelling in this medium. And as video games continue to all serve of you as really are storytellers for empathy oh, and emotion, on. this year's shortlist demonstrates the range of stories we can tell. We featured witches, exiled asteroids, rift opening teenagers, and office workers investigating urban legends. Your nominees for best storytelling are. All right, it's gonna be Alan Wake, by the way. Probably. Yeah. 
best storytelling. Oh my god, this is fucking... Oxen free too. Lots of signals. Oh. We're hearing the in-room audio. Yeah. The enormous sight. The seven mysteries of Honjo. Oh, I'm not gonna fix this. This sounds crunchy Star as shit. Star Wars Jedi Survivor. This is incredible. Oh, oh give me a fucking seven break seven that five. basically has no story. <laughs> the Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood. I don't know what that is. That looks cool. That looks really interesting. Yeah! Woo! Wow, Al Alan Wake wasn't nominated for storytelling. Seriously? <laughs> All right, let's give it up with our first award for best oh, storytelling. Oh, his mic's off! The winner is... Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah! Woo! Girl dinner! Girl dinner! Is that Jen? Please welcome Larian Studios to the stage. Is that, is that? Oh, is that a real? Oh no, those are real. Oh, that's the community lady. Cool. I remember her uh, laughing on the on the big showcase they did. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, honey, put her mic on. The mic's not on. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Let her speak. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, we muted the stream. Are We're you serious? Why is it doing Why that? Why did it mute? Oh my god. Make more stories. What? Oh my god, no, we're the idiots. Oh no, it was Oh no, a... it's us who was stupid. Were you hitting? Why was it mute? It. I didn't touch a thing, Pat. Why was it muting? I haven't touched a thing. We didn't touch anything. Oh, we're Just stupid. I'm my own direction for you. <laughs> we're off to a great start. Um. It was both. The mic was still I off. The Baldur's Gate three one. Uh, if, if for no other fact, then it proves I'm not in every game. Dude, the keyboard wasn't even on. What the hell happened? I don't know. Uh, okay, it is time for the still playing award, and to deliver the golden joystick, please welcome my fellow castmate from Metal Gear Solid Five, who also is uh, releasing an album today with legendary producer Giorgio Moroder. Please it's welcome okay, the You'll one and only it it's okay. Stephanie it's okay. Houston. You did good. You're very sweet. Oh, I clicked and dragged the YouTube volume, uh, but it doesn't unmute it. That's okay. By the way, baby is out. Yeah, he's out. God, this baby's awesome. Hello, everyone. It's so lovely to be here in person wow. among so many She's also pretty. People. So she won an award for... Um, uh, my name is Stephanie. Oh, she's Austin. quiet, right? Uh, yeah. I'm an actor and singer, and you might know me from characters like Quiet from Metal Gear Solid Five. Uh, They're putting out an album. Solstice, oh, cool. Uh, I don't know what fucking award she just got. We are here at the Golden Joystick Awards today to celebrate the prettiest the lady. I think this uh, this award was for still ages. continuing. However, as oh. many of us oh, we Chris, you can see the the stats. Oh my love, she's presenting. Quite a while ago, game stats. Are so special that they truly made an impact. I can't hear quiet. Hey, I'll tell you this much, Pat. Games I swear to fucking God, when Neil Newbon gets on there, dead silence. Nobody says anything. Oh, I'll make sure it's dead silence. Patrick. Celebrates the game <laughs> that players Don't are mug Frank. I'm going to stop playing anytime soon. Oh, it's for games that keep go come, like, oh, the, cool. the people Still keep playing. Award. Oh, okay, yeah. Still playing award. Genshin Impact. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. Naraka Blade Point. I also sponsored that game. Great game. Great game. No Don't think Sky. it'll win, though. Man's Sky. The Sims 4. Oh, yeah, that's, that's hot. Still hot. GTA Online. Fortnite. Oh, I didn't man. even recognize that as Fortnite. I didn't either. Warframe. Really? Oh. Valorant. Really? Really? Apex Legends. Really? Dota 2. Call of Duty. Do these deserve awards? <laughs> I, Patrick. I, 
Let them put feathers in the cat's oh, 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 No Man's Sky. Really? You know what? Yeah, okay. They did fix that game you good. Know what? Yeah, I think Please they deserve welcome. a little something. Huh? Hello Games to the stage. Oh, he's as cutest little baby ever with his tiny little arms. God, he's the best. This kid is the best kid in the world. Can he's you believe so we're doing this live show with, with a fucking four-month-old baby? And he's like... He's not even four months yet. Oh, yeah? No, okay. he's, he's got another... And he's like, goo goo gaga sleep time. Thank you very he's much, the best kid. Um, no Man's Sky has obviously been a labor of love for a long time now. We've been out for seven years now, and each update is very much the things that the team... Uh, really feel would add to the game, and they're just kind of the crazy stuff we think will be good. And it's great. Why won't they turn on the mic? So I think I know what's happening. What's happening? I think Thank that they much. have. Um, that, I think that mic is a room mic. I don't think that mic is actually pumped into the live stream. Yeah. Which is why when they cut to the feed of the videos, that's also playing in the room, which is coming through that mic, which right. is why it sounds so crunchy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Just want to say, uh, I love hearing you guys hoop and holler for your own team. Please do that. Encourage other people to do the same. Let's have a lot of fun tonight. Make a lot of noise this place. We're just Please, so everyone, fun. let's have fun. Please, I'm so anxious because this is rough. Uh, please, <laughs> let's all have fun, I love you, please. Joy. To, to oh, the Joy Baker. Support of no Man's Sky. As a side note, you may have noticed uh, some recent games are missing from the, co uh, from the core voting categories. The reason being that the release date fell just outside of our voting window. Oh. However, uh, they were eligible for our critically chosen categories in the Ultimate Game of the Year Award, which we'll get to later on. Um, there will be a letter saying, we love what you do this year, and we look forward to considering you in our next voting round. So wait, and Alan Wake can't be considered for storytelling, but it can so, be considered for Game of the Year because... Best visual design is up next. Oh, it's got to be Hi-Fi Rush. the most handsome games of the past 12 months, but it's not, it's not just a celebration of how... Hi-Fi Rush deserves works. this. It's about how a game Let's see, what is this? Too. Prettiest? Behind every... Best visual. It's up behind him, honey, on, on, on the screen. ...hardworking developers doing list. everything they can to squeeze the best visuals out of the tools that they have in yeah no that's a room mic that's not hooked up into the feed there's just a feed for room Dr. noise Masala, oh goodness the solo developer who created the falconeer i have no idea what's nominated you don't know what's nominated uh best storytelling um well Expansion. thanks for having me um my name's Tom Masala. okay here, here's the here's the list well, i mean they're gonna tell us and I'm here to yeah, it's just nice to know beforehand. That is important to me. Street Fighter's on there? That's stupid. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a uh, this really good design. This award the starling, startling, startling? Startling artistic and technical achievements that provide shape to your favorite moments of achievement, wonder, and shared humanity. In this I like his jean jacket. We celebrate cell-shaded cities, meticulously I'm like squinting at the screen to hear him better. That you can I know. Yeah, I, I did that too. Among other technical and artistic triumphs. They all deserve a claim, but as we all know, there can be only one. So here are the nominees for best visual design. Did you hear them turn best up the fucking? Best visual design. Lies of P. That game looks great, but no, it's it's just a Korean video game. Street Fighter Six. No, that's stupid. I think it's cool. High five rush. I think it's gonna win. Starfield. That is a great game. Oh, dude, that's obviously a shot from the end. <laughs> Baldur's Gate, sweep it up, sweep it up. And the winner is Baldur's Gate 3. Fucking sweeping it. That's fucking a joke. Fucking sweep it up. No, that's ridiculous. I don't care. You fucking sweep it, Please baby. Please welcome Laren Studios No, to that's stage. stupid. Sweep it. Hi everyone. 
I'm really proud to take this award in my hands, uh, visual design. We came a long way with Larian Studios. Um, I did the art direction on the game, like, but like everyone knows, art directors don't do much. It's really thanks to the talented team at Larian Studios that we were able to bring all the D&D &D magic to, to the screen. So again, thanks a lot, everyone. Good I really do think that's ridiculous. I mean, listen, I, I'm not saying it's not, but I just, I knew it was Big sweet. shout out to Liam for their second win of the night. Okay, so we're going to switch gears now, and you'll understand what I mean in a second, as we've got an exclusive gameplay trailer for Resistor up next. Wait, these are fan really voted? I thought they were developer exciting voted. Exciting car PG. I voted. Jordan, I said no puns. Oh. Oh, these are useless. Wait, what happened? Hi, it's almost time. Are you ready? I think so. Anything I need to look out for this time? Sure is. The twins. I don't think they... They seem nice. They didn't cut to the... They're elite class racers. Don't be deceived. They didn't cut to the fucking feet. What is this? They're vicious and out for blood. They didn't... Alright. I think they forgot like about us. Stuff. Stay safe right there. Gotcha. This is incredible. I, d I, I don't know. Oh my god, this is the... <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this? You know, I try not to be too... Oh, oh, there you go, you stupid fuck. Hey, all right, all right. I was about to say, I try not to be too critical of people who do jobs that I don't know how to do. I'm pretty sure most of us could do a better job than this person right no. now. Well, I mean, we are not as important as the actual awards and the attendees. No, to the person who is handling the broadcast, we absolutely are, because their job is to handle the broadcast. Well, you know. Like, we're hearing... Paige, this is like... This is just YouTuber recording the screen with camera audio. Listen. <laughs> like, I was doing better than this in 2011. They are my friends, Jetpack. I love the art direction in that game. Uh, that was Resistor, which was coming soon. How are we all settling in? Feeling good? Premiere? Everyone got dessert? Yeah. Enough drinks? Oh. Good. Uh, That's Studio so of the Year is uh, up next, which, I mean, is what kind is of in the name, this one. Uh, this award is sponsored by our beloved Edge magazine, and to present Studio it, we have a very accomplished actor that you may recognize from Larian the role in the primetime HBO yeah, show that aired earlier this year. Or Please CD welcome... Project. No. No. <laughs> That's me. No, I you know, <laughs> Oh, because I did the thing. Yeah, here's, here's your nominees for Studio of the Year. Studio of the Year. Studio. That's a pretty good reel for them, right? Yeah. Digital Eclipse. No. Nintendo EPD. Possible. Oh, this might be one that they give to Zelda just to give to Zelda. Me, 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 games. I me, me, me. Uh, that company no longer exists. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Remedy Entertainment. So winning an award now would be kind of mean. CD Are you, I can't believe. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's on the list. Baldur's Gate sweep. Sweep it up. Sweep, sweep, sweep. And the winner is... Larian Studios. Sweep it up. What did I fucking say? Sweep that shit up, baby. Please welcome Larian Studios to the stage. So this is the part where people sitting in the row that are not from the, the Larian are just going, oh, this is going to be a long day, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we made the better game than you guys. Sorry, sorry. Uh, oh, 
Oh, wow, God, and everyone's up there. <laughs> Thank you very, very, very much on behalf of uh, everybody at Larian Studios. Um, I, don't, I didn't prepare anything because at these award shows we usually lose. Uh, so, uh, so I didn't want to jinx it. Um, so a couple of years ago, I, uh, I tweeted at some point we were in a bar with some of the team. We drank too much and I went to the toilet. Uh, nice. And uh, I tweeted the word team. And so they all asked me, why did you do that? And I, I never answered them because I was being very mysterious about it. And so they started using the word team everywhere in the Slack channel. And you kept on hearing the word <laughs> team, 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 team everywhere where you went in uh, Larian Studios. And uh, the reason I tweeted it is because I was so proud of them, of the work that they were doing in, in really hard circumstances. And so there they are, team. Thank you. Aww. That's a really cute story. Aw, team. What, what's up? Oh, everybody get out of here. Love you. Okay, maybe we all shouldn't have come up on stage at the, at the same vibe. time. I think it's sweet. Big night for the folks at Larian. Uh, now, before we jump into the next one, I just want to remind you all that we have an official Golden Joystick Awards Steam page where you can find by searching uh, Golden Joystick Awards on Steam. So really here you'll find all the games here. mentioned also, in today's show. So head on over there and uh, flesh out your wish list. Um, I can hear I, it all the way out here, even though we're in Canada. Push that That's wish list. If you're watching at home, please, please, please put things that you see tonight on your wish list. If you haven't played them, the games we have upcoming, put them on your wish list, please. It really, really does help the developers. So, uh, all right, dang it, I've got this next one too. I'm ready. Mm, floor wine. Uh, I'm joining you all. Uh, this next one is all about acknowledging the games that have expanded with added content and DLC over the past year. Like, Here that are your nominees out. for best game expansion. Yeah, best game awesome. expansion. Oh, yeah. uh, what's up? That's really quite excellent. That is absolutely also very excellent. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Give me a break. I wish I could get into it. No, you don't. You're good. Oh. Me and my friends tried to get into it, and how many of us are playing that? No, they went back to FF11. Oh. <laughs> I hear good things. Kind of a weak year overall for expansions. Thank you for the raise. And the winner is Ziki Slice. Thank you. <laughs> Baldur's Game Cyberpunk Three. Twenty seventy seven. <laughs> <Band of Liberty. laughs> well done, guys. Hey. Please welcome CD Projekt Red to the stage. Oh, they sat them all the way in the back like fucking losers. You see this? Aww. See how Larry gets to sit up like two rows back? Well, Ben got front row actually. Coming Hell big. yeah, well deserved. You're like the handsomest people sit in the front. Here you oh, are, yeah. Ben, right in front of the camera. I think ben and Neil are, are like the hottest. They should kiss. They should kiss. They danced together at a con. I did not see that. Oh, I did. Yeah, I'm Many sure you times. Did. I'm sure you did. That man. video wow. was 60 hours long. <laughs> Chooms. Chooms is friends for and Cyberpunk speak. Thank you so much. Um, I accept this on behalf of like Turn hundreds of people down. who poured oh, their my hearts God. and souls in this. From writers to engineers, everyone in between and all around. And I want to do a couple of shout outs. Bear with me here. Uh, Pavel Sosko, Igor Sarjinsky. The Tomek mic is Marhefka, turned on now, have you noticed? Uh, yes. Pavel Milnichuk, Kuba Kanapik. Oh, he's just saying random um, letters. And then <laughs> exec on, producer, Maciej Bodakiewicz, Kasper Kuczynski, Anya. Alanowska, Skibbity Toilet, Adana, so many, and there's just not enough time. I can't get through them all. But this is heart and soul of a lot of people into this. And I want to give a, I want to give a special thanks to, to uh, the voices in our heads, because we all have them, it's gonna right? Cast like, testicular torsion on the Johnny audience. V has Johnny Silverhand and Songbird. A little bit of a spoiler there, not too oh, much. Oh yeah, the cursor. My bad. But my the voice in our head oh, throughout this bad. process no, actually, was the community yeah, was and the, the players who supported us and believed in us. To, to deliver this and see the vision through, heartfelt thanks. 
truly from the bottom of our souls. It like helped us through that <laughs> voice in our heads throughout. Thank you so much, community, for, for voting for us and believing in us. Thank you. Well, I thought this was like the Golden Globes because they called it the Golden Joysticks. But instead, it's actually the People's Choice Awards. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Sending love to all the tunes at CD Projekt Red. Uh, and now it's time to talk about VR. No. Virtual How reality is, is all about immersing like yourself in stories and fantasies that just aren't possible he's in the so real pretty. world. Look at him. So, he to probably has a best like VR a game. We've got someone who knows a little bit about that. Face. Please welcome Good the dominant Ifrit himself. Hey, can I get that Final guy? Final Fantasy 16's no. I would look Star. exactly like Troy Baker. Danny <laughs> Puma says it's like watching two people watch a TV on mute. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, it's Ben. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, friends and strangers on the internet. I'm Ben Starr, though some of you may know me best as the actor behind Final Fantasy XVI's incredibly dashing and distractingly full-chested protagonist, <laughs> Clive Rossfield. That's a velvet suit. That's to those not people, leather. I say so cute. thank you for all the viscerally detailed fan fiction. <laughs> I imagine a small portion of you are thinking, no, 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 that's not Clive Rossfield. That's the guy who did that terrible Mario audition on the internet that one time. And to them, I say, thank you for all of the viscerally detailed fan fiction. <laughs> it's my honor to deliver the award for best VR game, which commemorates the most impressive, immersive experiences players have been diving into over the past 12 months. From stepping behind the wheel of a supercar to playing squash in space. This year's VR games have transported players to brave new worlds and given them experiences yeah, ben should have hosted. they'll never forget. Sorry, Troy. Here God, are he's your nominees so charismatic. for best No, VR Remember game. when Troy pushed Nolan North best into a VR ditch game. and took his soul? It's now, it's Ben's <laughs> turn now. I think it's gonna, <laughs> like it, it was always between what Matt Mercer and Troy Baker for a while. Now it's gonna yeah. be Neil and uh, Ben. I have no thoughts on any of these games other than the fact that maybe a total of 45 people were able to vote for them because VR isn't very popular. Oh, by the way, Ben Starr has a uh, new D&D podcast that is premiering November 14th. I think it's called The Natural Six, I believe. Or the... Oh, shoot, I can't remember. They, are, they all look like rail shooters. Guess what? They are pretty much all rail shooters. And the winner is Horizon Call of the Mountain. Congratulations, Horizon Devs. The Fire Sprite team couldn't be here today. Oh my god. They have sent over this video message. Oh my god. I was about you know. Stuart Tilly, game director here for Fire Sprite, up into the pool. It's an honor to be here, you hear people laughing? I did. representing both Fire Sprite and our incredible partners at Gorilla. We're sorry we can't be here tonight oh. to accept the award. Oh, but we're extremely no. grateful to everyone who voted for Horizon Call of the Mountain. What the fuck? Oh, it's just we starting over and over. The magnificent I'm world of Horizon up. would be a fantastic place to explore in VR. Our respective teams have poured their hearts and souls into hand. making the that baby has taken over my hand. It's been an absolute joy seeing you all dive into this spectacular world and square off against oh my iconic God. from a whole new perspective. Oh, I want to say personally, oh, 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 he's, he's gonna eat the pony. Oh, no, I'm scared. On this journey. <laughs> it's been a genuine Why privilege. is nobody else watching this? This We'd is also incredible. like to extend a collective thank you to the PSVR Did team. Konami team fucking team, produce our this? Fabulous external oh. partners, and of course, to all you gamers out there, without your support and votes, none of this could be possible. And lastly, I'd like to offer my heartfelt congratulations to all of our fellow nominees this evening. Your creativity and hard work inspire us all. Now, Let's raise the virtual glass to a fantastic night ahead. Cheers, everybody. Class. Oh, they need to hire somebody to new for next year. This is spread. embarrassing. Okay, we've got to crown the winner of Best Indie Game next. Uh, Absolutely. It's a near impossible task, given the level of quality we've been treated to this year. Best indie. Thankfully, I know just the person for the job. Let's give a warm welcome to everyone's favorite fiery tiefling, my personal favorite class. The ever That's not a class, you Samantha fucking Bayard. dumb bitch. Samantha Bayard, yay! There's Neil. Yay! Oh, she's wearing red. 
you home. hear what he said? Yes, I did. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to say a quick big Ladies. thanks to the Golden Joysticks team for inviting me to take part in today's event. It's genuinely a privilege and a pleasure to be surrounded by such amazing company and incredible nominees. I'm Samantha Bayard, and you'll probably know me best as the actor who plays Carla so, in Baldur's Gate So Baldur's Gate, Gate is technically available for this Hell category. Yeah. Yep. And perhaps as Thomasina Bateman, my breakthrough go role in games, actually this time last year, in the indie hit The Excavation of Hobbs Barrow, out now on Switch and Steam. Capital. Just saying. And with my background in indies, it is an immense honor that I'm here to hand out the award for best indie game, a category that I'm sure strikes a chord with all our hearts or infernal engines or anything Aww. else that might power your insight and curiosity. Independent game makers are the true trailblazers of our industry, weavers of wonder, devisers of delight, who push boundaries and explore ideas in ways that inspire imagination around You want to play a fun little game? Yeah. Wondering who came up on the this stage just sloshed. The remarkable diversity of indie games right. and the clever creators who dare to dream them up. Here are your nominees for Best Indie Game. Uh, Samantha also has a lot of charisma. Yay! Best Indie Game. Dave the Diver. Didn't care for it, weirdly enough. Tower. I would laugh really hard if Pizza Tower won it because it looks like such a goddamn shake compared to everything else, but it, it's amazing, Cocoon. even though I don't like it. Why have I never heard of Cocoon before today? Sea of Stones. Hey. Dredge! 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 Come on, Dredge! Viewfinder. I, I played it. I yeah. turned all the audio off. Oh. Come on, Dredge. And the winner is... Sea of Stars. Oh, yay! Oh my god, that dude looks like such a Frenchman. Ladies and gentlemen, give our winner a round of applause as they head to the stage. That is a French man. That sees a white guy equals French man. Okay, yeah, let's let's wait a second. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, specifically to that table over there. Why is he British? Um, unfortunately, the sabotage team couldn't be here today, oh! uh, but on behalf of the development team and everyone <laughs> at Kowloon Knights, uh, just wanted to say a huge thank you uh, to everyone uh, in the studio who made the game possible. They pour so much love and, and time and effort into this game. Because uh, really Sea of Stars is from Montreal. They also wanted know, to say a huge thank asshole. you to the community, uh, you know what? especially those that backed the game He's early. He's British, that's the other uh, French. And really supported them. Um, Patrick, that's as well as fun to say. all of the partners, <laughs> who, many of which are here today. And finally, a thank you to both the Golden Joysticks and to all of the other nominees uh, who they are with. So thank you ever so much. <sighs> Why are you Canadian, Pat? What happened? My mom and my dad did some kissing. <laughs> Incredible. Well done to Sabotage Studio for securing that prestigious award. Our next category uh, of concern is for best multiplayer game, which was a real nail biter this year with only a couple thousand votes separating the winner. Oh. To deliver this hotly contested trophy, we've got another companion waiting in the wings, and this one has a lust for blood. Please welcome oh, hey, the voice actor boy. Vesterian oh my God, and my evil twin, Neil Nubon. Wow, cameras he's, can't pick him up because he's a vampire. It's the British accent that gives away that I'm the evil twin, which is good. Um, hello everybody. Hi folks. It's, uh, my name's Neil Newborn. It's a tremendous honor to be here because as an actor, I believe in ensemble. So to be asked to, um, present this award means a lot. Uh, you might know me from some of the, uh, more mischievous characters in games industry, such as 
Heisenberg from Resident Evil Village, or most recently, Astarian from Baldur's Gate 3. Thank you, uh, thank you darlings. Um, it's an honor to hand out this award for best multiplayer game, which celebrates Stop the experience it, we share together, the ones that make us laugh, cry, and issue angry ultimatums, darling. Whether you're looking to duke uh, it out with your besties or work together to take down some dastardly big bad, the nominees in this category encourage you all to play together and come together in the best possible way. Here are your nominees for best <laughs> multiplayer game. If best Troy Baker is Ken, game. then Neil looks like the Pete Davidson. Yeah, he does, he does. He, loves, he looks like he loves drugs. Yeah, he does. Oh. Exo Primal. Uh, I can oh think. my god, Exo Primal got onto the show. Diablo 4. Remnant 2 is actually a fantastic game. I'm very sad. Also, I was sponsored, so thank you for the money. Street Fighter 6. That game's pretty good. Mortal Kombat 1. By the way, Pat's talking a big game, but he's wearing an Astarian girl dinner shirt right now. Paige made me wear it. But that's okay because I am also wearing the exact same shirt. We're both wearing our we Astarian girl we dinner are, shirts. We are, we are. I totally forgot I was actually presenting. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right, and the winner is Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> These awards are point. Please oh, Ed's not going up. From NetherRealm Studios, Ed Boon. That's not Ed Boon. <laughs> I know an Ed Boon, and that's not an Ed Boon right there. I've been waiting for Ed now. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Wow. Ed Thank couldn't you. make it. Uh, we saw him at the table. Not Ed Boon. Uh, that's a given. Uh, but on behalf of NetherRealm Studios, Thank you to the community uh, for voting for such a prestigious award. And I believe we do have a very special thank you message from the man himself. So over to Ed Boone. Thank you. What on behalf of the entire Mortal Kombat team, on behalf of the entire Mortal Kombat team, we'd like to thank you for this Golden Joystick Award. Thank you also to the millions of people. I can't, I can't. This is incredible. We've this only was such just a good begun idea. with this game, and there's so much more coming. We could soon. never have anticipated Thank this just falling you. apart like this. I'm such a nerd. I've met Ed a handful of times, and even just then when they said his name, I got nervous. So I was like, ooh, Ed is here. Uh, congratulations to everybody at NetherRealm. Seriously, it's a, uh, an incredible game. They said flawless victory. I thought that was cute as well. Um, not to get any digital showcase peanut butter in your awards ceremony chocolate. Jordan, we're going to talk about that one. But we're taking a leave out of the future game show he playbook now as we've got a world allergy. premiere to debut. Me too. Let's take a look together. Oh, oh, what could it be? World premiere. Thank you. It's gonna be a Homelander or some shit. No? Welcome to the river. Your new home. Is it down, down, down by the river? <laughs> the river will help you, as it helped us in the past. your help too this looks like a game made exclusively by people who ask if they can use your shower because the water ran out in their there fan there's a light in everyone you just have to trust the flow Our 
life on water is coming in 2024. Oh, Sounds no. Great, is that when the mean? iceberg's yeah. going to fall into the go. ocean? Yes. Well, right. Sounds great. Yes. Yay, games. <laughs> um, it is an agreeable segue into our next category as well. It is time to hand out the golden joystick for the game with the best audio. And who better to pass on the prize than last year's winner for Metal Hellsinger, Two Feathers Studio. Baldur's Gate should win uh, this or the Hi-Fi Rush. Those are the only two real choices. Hello, everyone. I'm Elvira Björkman. And I'm Niklas Jaffai. And we are so thrilled to be oh, back people are the talking Golden Joystick Awards this year to hand the baton to another wonderful game that has blown us all away. Did you hear the shushing? Oh my god. I heard the shushing. Oh my god. The, the best audio award celebrates the games that give us something to sing along to, as well as those that build a palpable sonic atmosphere that lets us know when we're in danger. I, it, is everyone getting like... Here are your nominees. Power best energy audio. from watching people announce best audio to a dead microphone. Rush oh, hey, yeah, you know what? Deserves a nomination at the very least. Yeah, that does have very good music. It, it should be that, though. If ever there was a category built for that game. Great game. Just great game. Incredible. Was sponsored by it. That came out and everyone ignored it. Yeah, why? I don't think it's, I don't think people care about anything it's got going on. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. That's fine. <laughs> and here goes. The winner of Best Audio is Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage Final Fantasy 16's Fly Crossfield, Ben Starr! Yay! Yay, Ben! Why does he look awkward? He doesn't. He's beautiful. Hello. So, I obviously didn't do the audio for Final Fantasy 16. That would be ridiculous. Um, <laughs> but I am here to accept the award on the team's behalf. But there is a message uh, from over in Japan, so take it away. ファイナルファンタジー 16。いや、今年は本当ラッキーだなっていう感じですね。で、今後もですね、え、60はダウンロードコンテンツなどが said he looks like he's been locked in that room. So he actually does lock himself in his studio. Um, and I think Yoshiki talked about how he knows that like good music is coming when he just has to keep seeing chicken deliveries go into his door. Because he just eats fried chicken for days. Congratulations to our friends in Square Enix for taking home the trophy. Up next is the award for Best Game Trailer, which is sponsored by the Future Game Show. Now, not to break the fourth wall or anything, but we've managed to wrangle the extremely busy executive producer of the Future Game Show and the Golden Joystick Awards, my dear friend James Jarvis, to reveal the winner. Hey, James Jarvis, you're the executive producer. Hey, you put on a bad show. Yes. It's, it's disorganized, not bad. Thank you, Troy. That was almost good enough for an award. 
Almost. Almost. Great. Almost. Yeah. Hello, everybody. My name is James Jarvis, and I'm here to present the award for best game trailer. I spent an enormous amount of time making putting these little gems on my suit. Future, and it's made me realize how <laughs> crucial a role they can play in the game's road yeah. to launch. And if the past few days have been anything to go by, it's clear that a trailer can often be just as anticipated as the final release. The past 12 months in particular have brought us many stellar examples of what can happen when multiple talented disciplines come together to present a virtual slice of an upcoming creative project. Here are your nominees for Best Game Trailer. Best Game Trailer. That's a good one. People liked that trailer a lot. That was good. I liked it. Oh, that's the one with me. Wow, trailers were weak as fuck this year. Yeah. Okay. And the winner is Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty Cinematic Trailer. Please welcome CD Project Red to the stage. you can hear somebody just breathing really hard in one of the microphones. Yeah, what's up with that? I thought it was us for a second, and then yeah, I, I breathed so, on purpose. I went, um, no. Making a immersive worlds is in the game, but it's also outside the game. And so this trailer, I just want to thank the, uh, the marketing group and the production group for a phenomenal kind of campaign culminating with this trailer. Amazing, amazing work group. Yeah, just... So many else people should here be with us, not only two of us. So we really regret that. But this is for all of you and all we the did not think that we would win the award. Also outside of our uh, of our city for regret. So thank yeah. you, thank you so much for that. Actually. Yeah, uh, Resnag, the mic setup is awful. You notice all the tall people have to like bend down to get to it. Man, this is not another wonderful win for CD Projekt Red. And next up, we've got a brand new category. This is the Streamer's Choice Award. This, yeah, all right. <laughs> There's the Streamer's Table. Uh, this one was chosen by a global panel of creators, many of whom are in the room today, I'm assuming. Okay, three of you, fantastic. I didn't choose this. Uh, to reveal the winner, here is TikTok Tandem, Nick and Cam. What's up, everybody? We're Nick and Cam. We're brothers, avid golfers, but the most important thing, gaming content creators. And that is why we're here. Thank you so much for having us today. We're, gonna say uh, we're here to present the first ever inaugural Streamer's Choice Award. <gasps> oh, ooh. Hey, oh, hey, that oh, that's what I say we to my baby. Gonna be bad. That was a lot better than Yeah, expected. but he's saying it to a crowd of old people. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you so much for having <laughs> us here today. So. The Joysticks have consulted with some of the top YouTube talent, some of the top Twitch talent, to find out what is the most exciting oh, game that they have been broadcasting this year. And after a lot of head scratching and deliberation, oh, here are your nominees. That's not true. I chose this game because it essentially gave me a new job. This was one of the first FPS games that I ever started playing when I got my PC a couple years ago. It actually marked the beginning of my content creation career. There's so much support around this game, so you're never lacking. This game is highly competitive and ticks all the boxes for me, as well as being able to stream for people who want to watch me compete at that level. It's highly competitive, which is what I love, and one of the best things that I like doing is queuing up with my community, and that's why I love streaming it. And because it has so many initiatives which help promote diversity and equality across all of its esports platforms. There's also amazing agents from all around right. the world that you can master and use 
to your own different what, what is the criteria lie, for being chosen for play. this? And all I ever want to do British. is just get better at it. And when I do because pop off, the chat goes nuts. My streamer's choice. My streamer's choice. My streamer's choice. My streamer's choice. I looked up one of the guys at random choice. and he has like my half the amount of followers I do. Choice. So I'm like very it confused. Matter. It does. They said they, they interviewed top streamers. It was very tense. I thought Pokemon so, was going to be in that fucking reel or whatever. Of the first ever Streamer's Choice Award is... Valorant! Oh, let's go, Val! All right, all right! My Streamer's Choice is Valorant. 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 My Streamer's Choice was is this, Valorant. Was this Valorant. entire thing invented to give Valorant an award? Please welcome Riot Games awesome. to the stage. Why did you choose Valorant, Pat? I I can't. The Since you're such a top streamer, why did the you? The game won't even run on my computer. I actually tried to play it once, and it, it crashed my PC. How could you do this? Riot Games coming to the stage with a woman. Get out. There's still a couple of them left. <laughs> <laughs> Right before Blizzard got in trouble with all that stuff, but Riot got oh, yeah, in yeah, even yeah, bigger yeah. trouble. Yeah, they they yeah. lost that lawsuit. Yeah. Oh, oops, oops, that was. My oh, fault. cut cut her feet. No, no. That oh, was it was fault. you. It's you um, doing it. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. It's been you muting games, it the whole time. It is a great honor sorry. to accept this there, most prestigious award, and of course the biggest thank you goes to all of the Valorant conquerors and streamers that Paige sees a woman sound goes down and continue oh, investing their time and their passion more. into it day after day thank you so much and thank you for inviting us to this lovely ceremony <laughs> Aww, she's cute that's why she got to keep her job Pat. <laughs> oh my god I like those guys they're fun they gave he's me a compliment. So drunk. Look at him drinking. Oh, wait, Julia, I yeah, let you know. Wasted. I look for Good that for picture, him. and I'm glad that you're I'd the one that I'd be drunk too if I was handling this. Yeah, you'd do it way better, way better. Um, big shout out to Riot and the Valorant team. Congratulations, crushed it. Now you may or may not know that later what this evening, uh, the BBC he's is drunk. broadcasting a live gaming fundraiser with content creators and celebrities taking on some of the nation's favorite games to raise money for charity. To learn more, let's throw it over to one of the hosts of Game On. For BBC Children in Need, Stefan Powell. BBC Children in Need? Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great time at the award ceremony this afternoon. I'm sorry I can't be with you. I love the Golden Joysticks. Not only you're because they're people's awards, but because we're never invited the press to these things. frankly, always Aren't amazing. We cool? Might have something to do with all that shit we say. On the Finishing touches to our brand new live show. I don't say shit. Game on I for BBC shit. Children in Need. We're going to be live <laughs> on BBC Three and on the iPlayer. Say purple burglar alarm. So please, when you get home, tune in. I bet you can. Say water bottle. Bring people together. Say water bottle. No, they can say what they can, but oh. they can't say purple burglar so alarm. This show, we hope, is a love letter to gaming, and you know this. It highlights the power of games to help children overcome challenges. It's a charity, but lives. it's for we're British children. All sorts of different Patrick. games, chatting to some of your favorite influencers, and we're streaming you are not George the show Washington. as well. Knock it off. Having the age-old debate, what is the greatest game of all time? And Troy, I love his I accent. That's awesome. Which one? I'll let you guess. So tune in later to find out. There's loads more too. So I don't know if you know this about British children. Oh, I, I don't they like eventually I turn into British adults oh, across the country. That's that is not 7 nice. PM. I know. It's not nice to say about any child. Game on. Thank you very much. See you soon. Well done. Thank you, Stefan. I mean, it's got to be Metroid Prime 3 corruption for my role as various soldiers, but I didn't write that one. That's, what? You can blame Jordan for that one. Uh, be sure to tune in to Game On for BBC Children in Need, which airs from 7 Throwing the producer under the bus for bombing. BBC 3. I am back. I'm going to present one more award. No, I'm not going to make the same joke where I tee myself up in third person and list all of my accomplishments because that doesn't really matter. I hope he's drunk. All night. I didn't write that one either. But man. anyway, let's talk about game communities, specifically the best one to emerge over the last 12 months. The Here are your nominees. Uh, oh, my God. This is the best Look, game he looks pissed off. Did you see the way he Oh, left? yeah, because he got he's written so a bunch best. of... Oh, yeah, it's the Baldur's Gate 3 community. They're freaks. Yeah, woo! They're, they're weird they're, sex freaks. They're so oh, cool. but Deep Rock Galactic. Oh, they're dwarves. People who love that game are cool. 
Yeah, see, look, rock and stone. Final Fantasy 14. Okay, so clearly more people in that audience play that game. Oh, yeah, I think 14 will win. The Legend of Zelda. Do they have a community? Is that a game that has no, a community I don't, basis? I don't think so. Maybe a small one. It doesn't have multiplayer. Warframe. Warframe does not have the best community. It does not. <laughs> I do want to point out, what a time to be alive where two different Final Fantasy games are nominated on the same night. That's Dude, I thought he was going right? to drink the award. Either that, or we really are living in the Matrix. And that is a glitch. Uh, it is not. Best game community oh, goes he's to mad. Baldur's Gate He is mad game. at what's coming up he's on mad. the prompter. He's like actually he's super angry. Dude, the way he left the, the, um, the podium, he like pushed away from it was pissed. Please welcome or maybe I'm, maybe I'm misreading. No, stage. misread as much as you want. Misread it. I didn't even. That poor man. We were focusing. Yeah, it was Baldur's Gate. I'm shocked. Oh, I'm shocked. Baldur's Gate. Woo! Sweep, sweep, sweep. Have they lost yet? Uh. No. Uh. Well, that was uh, awkward. It's a lot of lights for a man with uh, extreme social anxiety. So, I'll keep this short. Uh, a lot of unnecessary stuff happens in this industry to get these games made. Uh, we go through loopholes, hardships, uh, many, many, many things. A lot of unnecessary things. But one thing that remains necessary is our communities. They are our lifeblood. They celebrate with us when we succeed, and they hold us accountable for the many questionable decisions we make as a collective industry. Without them, we wouldn't be here. Yeah, so and Baldur's them, Gate does deserve to, to win this, this because the Baldur's Gate early access community made that game the way better. 100%. They really are what keeps us here and what keeps us afloat. Thank you to all of you that play games. I wish I was playing them right now and not doing this. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Yay. Yay. Legends. Legends. Well done. <laughs> um, let's see if we can get like a, a luggage cart for Larian to, to start handling all of their many, many awards. Uh, we do have the award for best gaming hardware up next, which is sponsored by our good friends at Tech Radar Gaming. Absolutely. Uh, this one concerns all the tech that we can't stop tinkering with. Here are your nominees. Oh, oh I'm, I'm here for angry Tron Troy Baker. I love him so oh, much. Oh, this is so good. The only people I know who have bought the PlayStation VR bought it to make videos on Twitch with. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking into getting a new monitor. That you were looking at that monitor. Oh. Nitro <laughs> deck. I don't know what that is. I actually have no idea what that is. Asus ROG Strixco T96. Agni Brand says he has that monitor. It's good. Oh. Really? A fucking a fucking M2 hard drive is up for best gaming hardware? Best gaming hardware. Are you serious? This is the greatest award show I've ever seen. What? Oh no! Oh, it looked! It looked! Did it really? It looked bop, it? I'm so glad I didn't have to say all those names. The winner is PlayStation VR 2! Oh yeah, of course. I'm sure it's a very fancy piece of Please technology that someone owns. Please enjoy this from Sony Interactive Entertainment. <laughs> you okay? Do you right? Please do accept the Gold Ranger Stick Award for Best Hardware. PlayStation VR 2 was designed from the ground up for PS5 to bring to life the sense of presence in games. Transporting player out of their living room into can't, the battle game world. I can't, I can't, world. I can't. We want to thank he has our the prettiest upper legs I've ever seen. Sony Guys, be honest with us. Like, we put on a better show production-wise than this, right? I don't know about that. We're doing this out of our, our, out of our fucking, like, home office. For embracing PlayStation VR 2 and creating such a unique experience for players to enjoy. I mean, we muted it twice, Pat. I don't think we're any better than these They guys. muted it. Pat, no, also. They, I, oh. No, they also muted it. Our Is it getting to be that time of the night? <laughs> Look, you can see my head. Oh, there. no, yeah, it's, it's proper true. undone, mate. My clothes are coming off, guys. That's how much of a party we're doing. Oh, my God, he didn't right realize. Oh. Tied it myself. 
Thank you for that. That's incredibly kind of you. Yeah, that's a clip on. How long has that been undone? 15 minutes. Fantastic. <laughs> cool. All of you suck except for him. Congratulations to the VR Wizards at Sony, and please don't forget to take home your trophies or I'm going to start minesweeping. Did you see how long it took them for them to take that away from me? Uh, anything that is not screwed down is line. going home with me. Uh oh. Ha ha. Oh, the trophy, honey. Oh. As if on cue. All right. Our critically chosen awards are up next, but before we get to that, let's cleanse your ceremonial palate with a world premiere shaped amuse bouche. Cleanse me, zaddy. Ugh. Not <laughs> down, I'm not down premiere. with it. I'm down with the zaddy. Violence nominated I this year. It. I love it. <laughs> That's what I vote for. Now, for better or for worse, it's theirs. Discover mechanical friends or foes. This feels like a fake trailer. I don't know why. Who's the voice? Actor. Not Keith David. Damn. Recover lost memories. against colossal odds. Why does this feel the fake? The journey begins. Oh. Robots at midnight. Huh. Wish list now. Do you guys get get what I mean by that? Yeah. That was your first look at Robots at Midnight. God, that guy sounded too cool, man. Uh, coming soon, so get it on your wish lists. Our next two awards the weren't part of the so public voting loud. module, yeah, but were instead so chosen by a panel so of experts oh, hey, Susie, from what features, up? gaming brands. First up is the Breakthrough Award, which recognizes a singular game that made a big splash this year, cutting through the fog to deliver something outstanding. So let's reveal the what winner, does that mean? shall we? I don't know. Is this just so Baldur's Gate 3 can get another fucking sweep? Geometric Interactive burst onto the scene earlier this year with Cocoon, a stylized puzzle game about a beetle exploring worlds within worlds. Well, that's neat. It's a game made with incredible conviction, driven by a concept that has to be played to be believed. With just two buttons and some sensational set dressing, Cocoon conjures a singular alien world that is constantly... So there were no nominations, it, it's just Cocoon. The first time you dive into one of its misty orbs and find yourself in a new realm is a dazzling moment. And it's just the tip of the iceberg. Oh God, listen to how loud the crowd is, guys. Oh yeah. Well, I didn't make After Cocoon. such an incredibly strong debut, now we'll just have to wait patiently for what comes next from these Danish Dreamweavers. Also, the Breakthrough Award didn't have a very clear description, so it just feels like they just were like, who needs to win something? There were no nominees. They win! They win! That's my little guy. Oh, no. No, he's sleeping. We have the best baby. Other babies, trash. This baby, great. Yeah, you don't have to put down other babies. Yeah, I do, I do. But also, it's fun because they can't argue back. Babies. Yeah. Hello. Uh, thank you to the judges for picking us. It's amazing. Um, I want to quick say a quick thanks to, on behalf of our team, I would like to thank uh, Jebe, the director, for making this happen, uh, and Erwin and the rest of the team for trusting us and sticking with us through six and a half years of production. Um, everyone on the team has worked so hard, and, and it's amazing yeah. that they, they kept it, keep it up. I don't know, man. Uh, Spending six and a half years uh, on a Anna game Erna that somebody who for help plays games for a living never heard of before I, I watched an award years. get given for uh, it sounds and, like a uh, bad deal. I would like, uh, as the audio director, to extend a special thank you to Julian and Mikkel, our sound designers, who so made an amazing job, and uh, my girlfriend and my family for supporting me. And Mikkel... Uh, I 
I'd like to add uh, my shout out to my graphics colleagues, Erwin and Nikki. It's been a pleasure to throw voxels at the beautiful world you guys create. Um, also, thank you to my tech colleagues. Thank you to Marconi and Martin uh, for all the great work making number go smaller. Um, and to my partner, Tuki, for keeping my sanity all this time. Thank you so much. Yay, I think, yay. Yay. What are they having for dinner? Congratulations to Geometric Interactive on a very, very well-deserved win. Uh, next, we have the Critics' Choice Award, which is also selected by a panel of journalists from Games Radar, PC Gamer, Edge, and a few more. Oh, hello. Now, this award celebrates the game that, to them, has stood out the most over the past 12 months. I'm sure there were some serious squabbles. In what does fact, that mean? I know that this one was a hotly debated one by the judges, but the Lone Starlet has prevailed. Let's find out who took home the prize. Oh, it's Alan Wake. What's the category? Critics' Choice. Oh, come on. Shit. Well, I don't really understand what I was looking at, so. Can I hold the baby? He's so cute. I love him. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh this is awkward. Got him? Please got him. welcome got him. Thomas Fuller from no, Remedy him. Entertainment. Hello, little baby. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi honey. Good morning. Kiss on him. Good morning. The baby is with us now baby in the room with us right now <laughs> yeah he is really big rocks points out well, how you are all stupid uh, which is make sure to point out every spoiler and explain exactly um, how it spoils the game so pat can know much. how it's a spoiler yeah because i just quiet. looked at a trailer and i saw spooky oh, yeah. mans we'll, we'll take that um thank you very much it took us 13 years um to get this game jokes on you done. i was lying about the spoilers that's pretty uh, funny making games is hard no, as we not, say at idiot. remedy we prove it with every game we make it's very painful oh, but it's morning. pretty awesome it's when you get to get these awards so shout out to the team back home uh in espo and of Wait course a, a big what thank you to epic like? games they look like a fucking um, really it looks like a wiener it looks like a dick exactly the game yeah, i mean he am I, am make, I crazy? Which is pretty rare. Yeah, so, it looks, oh, it's a joystick. God, much. I'm so dumb. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. <laughs> looks like a very ambitious butt wow. plug. It's a joystick, duh. I'm so silly. This baby's so damn cute. He is the cutest man in the world. He's the cutest man in the world. very handsome. Uh, take the words right out of my mouth. Show me the champion of light. I'll show you the herald of darkness. Congratulations to Oh, Ryan. did you see him almost way, spit Lynchian on the floor after Dream having to read Invader that? was going to be the name of my eighth grade prog rock band. That's a Lynchian Dream Invader. I don't know who came up with those words. Amazing. Was uh, let's jump well, he was the born many years ago, and, and then he didn't die. The platformers, the thespians. Platformers, performers. The thespians who bring your favorite characters <gasps> to life. Ben! To pass on the torch for lead performer. Hey, can you hold the baby? I'm sorry, I got first picture. Best lead is going before Come supporting? On. Yeah. Oh. Trust me, you're gonna want her, you want to hear her speak. Please welcome the incomparable star of Immortality, Manon Gage. Sparkles. Hello. Hi, everyone. Why does she seem so, so familiar so to me? here in person at the Golden Joystick Awards. 
I'm Menel Gage, though you probably know me best as the missing actor Marissa Marcel. In oh, Sam we Bar saw that trailer. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. good baby again. I love him. Thankfully, I'm uh, thankfully I'm very you. much here today, and I'm you ready just to present like the award for best lead performer. Actors can be the beating heart of a game's story, and also where the work of writers, directors, and artists intersect. They bring their own history and personality to these important roles, inevitably making them their own and impacting players all over the world. This year, we've enjoyed games starring superheroes, royalty, and tortured writers, to name a few. So it's safe to say there's plenty of competition. Here are your nominees for best lead Oh my gosh, so cute, I love her. Come on, Ben. Go, ben. There he is. been trying to shoulder the burden that you and the phoenix and the duchy foisted on him that's why i became his shield cameron monaghan as count castes no jedi survivor well, you don't no. know i do know i played that game it wasn't oh what is this case i gave him a mullet how much did sork offer you ilka billy and matthew Peretta as alan wake in alan wake 2. in the horror story they're only victims and monsters. Oh, that's and good too. End up as either. He's a writer, you know. I've genre. heard. We're all ripped to pieces along the way. Yuri Lowenthal as Peter Parker in Marvel's oh. Spider-Man. They should just give Yuri Lowenthal the Yuri Lowenthal Award of being Yuri Lowenthal. Yeah, he's so great. <laughs> he's also done the most roles of anyone wow, these here. Are, these are the most like. Clear yoga. contenders. You know? Elise Chapel as Kathy Jones. Oh no! Oh no! The baby He's hates my Yuri Lowenthal right. joke. Right. Well, that's what matters. Oh, right. Right. Come here. Come here. Come here. He's always looked out for us. He couldn't help what happened. Yeah, you're right. It's not weird for <laughs> me to want to find him, is it? Melanie Lybird as Saga Anderson in Alan Wake. Okay. Well, I'm getting a, a, the feeling that Alan Wake has really fucking good voice acting. <laughs> Wake has a double. Where is he now? Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. Magic Jetta as Miles Morales in Marvel Spider-Man. He's great. You take the drone. He was pretty good, yeah. Cool if I borrow this? Sorry, your father isn't funny, baby. Listen. Damn. I'll take a while for him to figure that out. No, it won't. Damn. <laughs> And the winner is Ben Starr. Yay! Yay! Yes, Ben! Yay! Oh, get your ass up there. Yay! I love the suit. He's so awesome. Jesus, that made me sick. Final Fantasy 8 shirt. Um, so I, I genuinely didn't prepare a speech for this, um, and I mean it. Um, so I spoke to Gary Witter last night, and he said um, he'd really want someone, when they win an award, to just slag off everyone who's ever wronged them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here is my burn book. Oh, my God. I'm not going to do that. Um, Clive is uh, and has been a huge part of my life for f over four years now. And a lot of me has changed in that time. And Clive isn't just me, it's all of the other actors who've worked on this part as Clive. Um, I'm fortunate enough to get to do it first, but there are other actors who have dubbed it in other languages, and I really want to shout out to them for doing Aww. the same all over the world. He's classy, classy. Shout out to the other Clives. Um, there are so many people, but I'm going to limit it to a few people. There are two people in particular, um, Morgan Rushton and Ollie Chance. Um, they work for a company called Schlock, and they are not just my colleagues, they are some of my best friends. Aww. They've been through a period of my life in which I was struck with tragedy. I changed as a person, Aww. and this game has changed my life. Um, I'd also like to thank, of course, Michael Christopher Koji Fox, the remarkable localization director, uh, the mad genius. The entire team of Square Enix on that table over there. You've been my rock, my lifeline through all of this. 
My fiance Naomi. Good, uh, good. You're Thanks, your wife. And also, um, my D and D group, Natural Six. Shout out yes, to them. Yes, woo! You want to see some high class D and D? Come and stop by Natural Six sometime soon. What I do want to say is this. Firstly, Final Fantasy VIII is my favorite Final Fantasy. Stop asking me that question. <laughs> um, and this series changed my life. It changed my life. This game has changed my life. Thank you so much to everyone. I really appreciate it. I will treasure this for the rest of my life. Thank you. Oh, that's so funny. That man is going to work forever. Good for him. Oh. Oh, I love him. I hope he makes a lot of money. Yeah, baby he thinks he makes a lot of money, yeah. too. Look. You can't be handsome and talented and nice. You got to give up one of those three. <laughs> Congratulations, Jesus man. Christ. Seriously. Uh, we are not done celebrating actors just yet, though. Oh, my God. We've got to crown you hear the, the mic best speed backing into themselves. Next. And we've got a very special guest to deliver the award. Yay. Please put your hands together oh, for Lady right, Rescue baby. herself. Maggie Robertson. Okay, okay, okay. Fucking Neil is gonna win this. And he's gonna yell and he's gonna feed back the whole room. Their heads are all gonna explode. <laughs> Here, will you take this silly goof? Ooh, yellow suit. Hello, everyone. Ooh. Um, apparently I was so hyped to be here in person this year that I decided to dress up as the Golden Joystick <gasps> Award. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. April Thank you. I'll be here all night. <laughs> but anyway, oh, that's um. As yeah, an Lady actor, D. I can assure you just how special it is to win a Golden Joystick Award. I figured she'd and be taller. And how nerve-wracking it is to wait for this moment. So it is my absolute honor and privilege to recognize some of my amazingly talented peers here today and present the award for Best Supporting Performer. A hey, game supporting we'll cast is always essential Arms. to the narrative at large, whether they're providing comic relief, a shoulder to cry on, or maybe even a romantic tryst. I'm Yay. looking at you, Astarian. <laughs> this year in particular has been defined by a whirlwind of incredible supporting performers with esteemed actors embodying dynamic, quotable characters that we won't be forgetting about anytime soon. So, without further ado, here are your nominees for Best Supporting Performer. Best Supporting Performer. Watch it just be the entire... Oh, no. Laura Bailey. No. Jane in no. It's no. not Laura Bailey's fault, Pat. It is. It was. Oh. Harry, it's MJ. I'm at an abandoned... The whole game, I was just thinking, get out of my face, woman. Spider-Man. It's flip, not Laura... Flip. Neil Newborn as a star in Beautiful Miss Game 3. To a vampire is another vampire. Sissy Jones as Andrea in Starfield. Here, I'll take it. Yet not lived it. It can be difficult to imagine or accept. Others here have seen conflict, but for more noble causes. Amelia Tyler as the narrator. In oh the come on! You can't <laughs> announce yourself. <laughs> Most <laughs> That's hilarious. Good if Neil doesn't win it, it should be Amelia. Memory. I completely agree. It would agree. be ever so twee if it were climbing a tree. Ralph Innocent as Sidolphus Telemann in Final Fantasy VI. Ooh, he was great. He had a very hot He's British like man voice for he men. He did, he did. Believe me, I've tried. Jesus. Nothing ever gets through. His register is so, so low. Not ready to listen. <laughs> he is so also Zaddy. Talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. Patricia Somerset. Are you kidding me? She has like 14 lines in the game. Her voice really grew on me, you know? I had the sword. I knew what to do. I knew this was why I came to this era. When does Kiryu's Japanese actor get an award for this? I want to restore the Master Sword and deliver it to Link. Idris Elba as Solomon Reed in Star oh. 2077. I didn't know he was in Liberty. Yeah. I say betrayed, but I was sold out. Part of a deal. A peace offering. My head on a silver platter. All for a ceasefire. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always got to pay it. Oh God, Neil, go for it. Hello. I'm oh, back oh. again. And the award goes to 
Shocked, shocked, I shocked, say, I wearing my girl dinner Astarian shirt. I know. Woo. Uh, hi. It is so much more nerve wracking the second time. They don't tell you that. Um, uh, really, uh, people that know me know that I'm quite garrulous. This is a weird moment to not exactly know what to say. I have a list of people that I do have to thank. I will try and get through it very quickly. Um, but first, I just want to say, um, my journey to games was an interesting one because uh, when I found games, I was broke. I was on my knees. I actually was very close to quitting the games industry and the games industry has given me nothing but character work, embracement, love, passion, great friends. And I just can't thank everybody in this room enough for including me in this. And everybody that's worked with me, thank you so, so very much. Um, to be amongst such amazing people, uh, amongst peers, again, the nominees are incredible. Uh, it's really overwhelming. So thank you very, very much indeed. Huge thanks, obviously, to Swen, to Larian, the beautiful studio that they are, who's been so supportive, have given us this incredible work, the incredible writers. My writer, Stephen Rooney, is incredible. Um, this rich world with Wizards of the Coast have also given us and to all the people that are there supporting Thank us, your wife. the directors, uh, Pistol Productions yep. with Josh Whedon, Jason Latino, and without Jason and Swen, I wouldn't be here. Sorry. So thank you without <laughs> Josh Whedon. Well. Wife, Neil. To Michael Dallas oh, you know for Neil, incredible Susie. support for all the actors as well. Thank you so much. Greg Lindston, Thierry, there's too many people, but really thank you so much. Um, I also want to thank many people that I'll see personally, my agents, especially on people like that. But one thing I wanted to say is that this character has meant the world to me. He is a survivor. He has gone through trauma. And I've had so many people from the community reach out to me personally who talk about the stories that our characters have also shared. They identify with many stories and characters in the game, that the game story itself has really reached them. And people have come up to me um, and said that they felt inspired to deal with their own trauma. Um, as a survivor myself, I understand when they talk to me about it, what they mean. That they feel seen by the game, they feel understood by the characters, Aww. and that is a testament to this amazing, beautiful masterpiece that Larry and Swen, the writing team, have all put together and created, and to the amazing cast of 248 beautiful actors that put their heart and soul on a daily basis to this. I'm going to be missing a lot of people I need to say thank you, but I just wanted to say that. Thank you so much to the community for embracing all of us. And for me particularly, thank you so much indeed. I really appreciate it. Classy, classy, classy. So family, yeah, there's a lot of people talking over this, every presenter. To Celeta and Coco, love you loads. Thank you for making me a better person. And I think the best way of saying it is uh, in Astarian's voice, if you don't mind. Thank you. This is a gift. I won't forget it. Aww. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Oh, I didn't thank the wife. Well, I mean, it's the golden joysticks. It's not like the Emmys, you know what I'm saying? I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? No, you're oh, not. So no, you're fun. not. Oh, oh awesome. man, you're not. Dude, seriously. Uh, okay, we're going to move oh, on to the console-specific oh, Game of the Year awards. Nintendo is up first. So let's go, <laughs> Jordan. To our guest presenter, legendary screenwriter and oh, former editor of PC oh, Gamer, my friend oh, Gary went up. Oh, <laughs> what happened? I didn't. I was. I'm so, sorry. I'm trying to shush your baby. Drop the paper towels. He, there was a let's a go All right, part. No, oh, that's totally fair, Susie. I completely agree. Rob the, over here the, on the teleprompter. Give it up to Rob, please. And he was like, "Ooh, Jordan." One oh, of the few, one of the unsung heroes on a night like tonight. He said it would be all right if I went off script a little bit, so fuck it. Because my friend Troy Baker may not have the balls to get up here and tell dad jokes, uh, but I do. Oh. Uh, what? A bear walks into a pub. Uh, what's going and on? He says, I'll have a gin. Uh, he said Troy Baker doesn't have the tonic. balls to say dad jokes, but I do. Barman says, what's with the paws? He says, I was born with them. 
No? Oh, my God. Oh. People are leaving. One more, one more real quick. What's the best thing about living in Switzerland? The flag is a big plus. That's true. It's anyway, true. Hello. It's true. I am Gary Witter, screenwriter and video game enthusiast. You might know me from such films as Rogue One, a Star Wars story. And the oh. Book of Eli. Oh, no. Or since we're all games people here, you might know me from your favorite Animal Crossing based late night celebrity talk show. Anyone see Animal Talking back in 2020? That was a lot of fun. Gary, just say you now, wrote for season one of The Walking Dead, for me to be Dead, here in person at the Golden Joysticks for the first time in more than 30 years. I still have many fond, if slightly oh blurry memories of the awards back in the early 1990s when I was shadows. a rookie journalist for what at the time was Computer and Video Games magazine. It's also my honor, as a die-hard Nintendo fan, to be presenting the award for Nintendo Game of the Year for the fourth year in a row. And the first time here in I'm person. sorry, the Nintendo Game of the Year? Now, like all those years before, 2023 has been another example of how the world would be a much less interesting place without Nintendo's perpetually innovative and idiosyncratic approach to delivering joy through Dude, the medium of video Troy games. just rushes the stage Here and starts are your to nominees fight him. Look, Nintendo he's getting ready. Video. He's getting ready to pounce. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo Game of the Year. A Nintendo Game of the Year? Jeez. Man. Console specific awards is so weird. What does the PC do? Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, it's that one. <laughs> Fire Emblem, it's Legend. definitely not that one. Oh. Oh. I know. Octopath That was on multiple platforms. Wasn't it? So, yeah, it's on Steam. Yeah, what the fuck? Can you hold him? I can. Just real quick. I can hold babies. Uh, talk over me and the other presenters as much as you want, but please don't talk thing. over the winners. It's it's rude. Let them, let them have that. Let them have their moment. Hey. And the winner is The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I can't believe it. I'm just gonna hold it. Please welcome Nintendo to the stage. Wow, it's Nintendo. Nintendo. Oh, I'm so glad Nintendo was able to win this Nintendo award. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello. Um, I'm Nelson Calvino, marketing director of Nintendo UK. Uh, okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> very Excuse honored to be you. receiving this oh, I'm award. Sorry, guys, I've shit my pants a little bit. Back in Japan. Unfortunately, they were not uh, able a to little. be here tonight. We know uh, a lot of people uh, waited a long time to enjoy Tears of the Kingdom. We are really thrilled that so many people are enjoying and coming up with uh, amazing oh, Andy creative Pumas, as you can solutions see people leaving so they the don't get caught in, in traffic. Oh my and, god. Uh, yeah, thank oh, you to this all the players is so who classy. voted and gave us these great awards. It really means a lot for Nintendo and for the developers. Thank so you. classy. I love it. Oh my gosh, congratulations Nintendo hey, on that explodes. win not and for giving me a crash course in engineering this year. Didn't Ready? know I needed yeah. that in my life. Uh, we've got the award for PC Game of the Year know, now, it's just which is going to make Don't Greg Miller oh, very no. upset. Oh, oh, I'm uh, scared. Uh, it's going to be presented by <laughs> PC Gaming Show. <laughs> this fucked up again. The next broadcast oh, event honey. in Future's Calendar. To deliver the award, we've got a dynamic duo of voice actors to present it. For Marvel Spider-Man, please welcome Aww. Peter Parker and Yuri Watanabe, oh, here, here. Yuri Lowenthal, okay. and Tara Black. I'll take him back there. I like to think that the reason his tie keeps getting undone is that the prostitute he keeps under the stage keeps fucking it up when he goes down there. Yes. <laughs> Hello there, friends. Much. I'm Yuri Lowenthal. And I'm Tara Platt. Fortunately for all the supervillains out there, we have taken a short vacation from crime fighting. 
to cross the pond and deliver the award for PC Game of the Year. Now, 2023 has been an absolutely bonkers year for PC games, which means all of your graphics cards are probably also in need of a little vacation right Not now. Not mine. There has been something for That's everyone. Yuri? Yes, you're a little like thought. Oh, wow. That's his wife, Tara Platt, who played Yuri in Spider-Man. Oh, and speaking cool. of Catch of the Day, here are your nominees for PC Game of the Year. PC Game of the Year. I wonder what could win. Could it be Baldur's Gate? Could Baldur's Gate win it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, come on. Sweep it up. Shadow Gambit, the cursed crew. System Shock. Diablo 4. No. Chia. Dave the Diver. And the winner of PC Game sweep of the it Year up, sweep is it up. Baldur's Gate 3. Fucking what did I tell you? I don't understand the, the context of this category because most of those games are also on stay. consoles. I, I, So yeah, I, I, I really didn't prepare anything. Um, <laughs> thank you very, very much. I have so many people to thank, so I'm gonna try to keep it short, but I do want to, and you need a book to read, go ahead. Um, first and foremost, I wanna thank the people that voted for us. Uh, it is uh, incredibly appreciated. And I think it's important to actually uh, explain and take at least 10 seconds to explain why awards are important. Uh, to teams I like, like us. them on um, my show. <laughs> when you put a group of developers in one room and you ask them, why do you make games? You typically oh, are going to hear so two answers. That. What? This? And one of them this. is going to be, I'm oh, making sorry. games because I want to solve very complex things. Video games There's are very, very hard to oh, make. Oh, I see. They involve so many disciplines that have to work in concert to arrive, uh, to arrive sorry, oh, uh, at it. the final result. And so that's the first group. The second group is going to tell you, I just want to have yeah. people I see know, people have fun with stuff I make. I want to entertain them. I want to reach them. Yeah, this emotionally. crowd's the worst. And Developers so are terrible. The first group, <laughs> Pat, no, the ones that want to solve complicated challenges, they're usually served very, very well because the game works. It runs, it ships, it's okay. The second group, all Spider Man says, Y'all's baby has legit been they better behaved than this room. Or they, they have their yeah, reviews, well, this baby gets a titty in his face when he gets on yeah, it. You know, yeah, yeah, imagine how quiet we'd like all be with the group. And then they have Steam, <laughs> and they have like the people that uh, point up and point down, and they say, yeah, but the only thing they can do is point up and point down. And then they have Metacritic, the user rating, and they say, yeah, but that's an army of trolls. Uh, but then finally you get something like this, and you say, you know, guys, you really should stop doubting yourself. You actually did really, really well. And so, uh, <laughs> so this is, uh, yeah. So first and foremost, I want to thank the team. Uh, they did an incredible job across six years. It was very, very hard for, uh, at times. We had really lots of external circumstances interfering with development, but they persevered out of passion for what they're making. I want to thank our friends and family. I want to thank my wife, Valerie, in particular. Um, the, it, as it were, hard years, COVID and so forth. Uh, we need a lot of support, and we got a lot of it. So there's really been oh, a lot right, of support Kay. around us, so I'm, I'm really the grateful U for The it. UK Fan Fest was partners, also had course. a bunch of people um, yelling from the crowd. Apparently, British crowds uh, are just unruly. Uh, oh, God, the actors yeah, uh, who did an enormous amount of time uh, in the studios recording continuously. We recorded. You, you really don't want to know how much we recorded and didn't use. And people were just oh, like, yeah, when soccer. are you guys going to stop yeah. writing the script? And we just kept on going and going and going. Uh, all of the people that helped us create assets, all of the people that translated the game, they also asked us, when are you going to stop writing the script? And we kept going and going and going. Um, our player community, uh, they the have been incredibly off. important for creating this game. Yeah, they're done being uh, awake and they're the ready to start being drunk. Access. They helped us shape it. <laughs> they told us what we were doing wrong, what we were doing right. 
uh, there was an incredible level of support from players. The, the amount of fan mail that we got, the amount of stories that we got, Neil just talked about it. It's insane. It's really, really cool. It's very motivating for developers. Us. And then finally, uh, I want to thank Wizards of the Coast also, because uh, I, I have... I have to because the Pinkertons are sitting at the table. Uh, but, uh, but no, really, as a licensor, they gave us carte blanche. Uh, they asked us in the beginning when That's we started working good. on this six years ago, what are you guys going to make? We told them one thing, we made something else, they left us alone. They let us do our thing and that's the way a licensor should work with a licensee for all the licensors uh, inside of the audience. So thank you very, very, very much. Uh, this is very cool. Thank you. Yay! Yay! From Larry Yeah. Yay! It's going to be really awkward when he comes back up for Ultimate Game of the Year. Hell yeah. I just want to let you know, when it comes to writing and scripts and continuing to write, I think I speak for all actors when I say, we're okay with it. <laughs> it's our burden to bear, and we shall bear it bravely. Uh, <laughs> you guys are getting your steps in. This is amazing. Uh, we're going to keep oh. it rolling with Xbox oh Game of the Year now, and who better to present <laughs> this <laughs> illustrious award so than Charlie mad. Watson oh. from Xbox UK. And oh, Ireland. I feel bad for that lady under the stage. She's going to get it. Oh, man. Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Looking gorgeous as well. Oh, wait, who is this? Uh, I'm Charlie. I'm from Xbox UK, and oh. I am thrilled to be here to present the award for Xbox Game of the Year. Come on, high fi so rush. Exciting Xbox games <laughs> launching as of late. The competition. Baldur's Gate didn't come out on this platform, ever, so it has a shot. Top stunners going up against epic intergalactic RPGs, most of which are on Game Pass, by the way. They're all winners in my heart, but as we've seen all evening and oh, I should have just general, clicked on that, and then you wouldn't have seen the line prize. the whole time. So here well, are your nominees for the Xbox Game of the Year. Xbox Game of the Year. Chance of Sanaa. Oh, I've heard really good things about that. It's about learning languages. Dead space. Chance of Sonar. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so good. This is such a good angle to use for this. Pentiment. Oh, Jesus Christ. Planet of Lana. What the fuck is that? It always gets a big pop from the crowd, but no award. Because the people here love it. Yeah. Most people probably didn't play it, sadly. All right, then. Here we go. Come on, high five. And the winner of Xbox Game of the Year is Starfield. Wow. Some, wow, most people aren't even clapping. The best, uh, the so stage. I can see people on their phones. you to please keep your voices down just so our audience listening online can hear oh, oh my god, god. Oh, oh. Well, this is nice thank you very much that um so embarrassing obviously sadly todd howard and all the talented team at bgs can't be here today but um on their behalf i, I just want to say thank you so, so much for this i'm this face is, palming this is into my desk oh. this has been a game that's been 20 years in the making it's a game that you know is epic in every every way. Um, thank you to everyone who it did is a it game. and everyone who supported us. You and can to play who voted it. For us. We thank did it. Much. Cheers. They're still talking. Congratulations to Bethesda. Now, if you've been keeping score, you'll know that you've got PlayStation Game of the Year next. Here is Ash Millman and Rosie That's Cabot not a from score. PlayStation Access. Oh, Jordan's a dumb the motherfucker. The guy who wrote yeah. this shit. Yeah, look, look, look at oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, look at that, it's your suit! Oh, that's awesome. Woo, okay, hello everyone. Uh, we are Rosie and Ash from PlayStation Access. It is so, <laughs> she's adorable. That's a cool suit. Awesome. It's so good to be back at the Golden Joysticks Awards celebrating Our name's all Rosie. Oh, of course, that's perfect. We have had another year of amazing PS5 games from brutal survival horror to giant robot showdowns and some good old fashioned multiplayer brawling. We are so grateful for all of you for voting in the room and the all internet void because it's been so hard. I mean, it what came out on the PlayStation. Oh boy. I mean, it's like also, wait, what the Cats fuck? How come Alan Wake wasn't on the Xbox it's list? It's fucked, I guess. But this doesn't make any fucking sense! PlayStation no, <laughs> Game of the Year. <laughs> PlayStation Game of the Year. Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Yeah, it also came out on the Xbox. Oh. Humanity. That also came out on the Xbox. Final Fantasy 16. Armored Core 6. Fires of that Anchor also Anchor. came out on the Xbox. That Street also Fantasy came out on the Xbox. Oh, dude, these oh, whole, all these categories were super, nice. like, stacked. So weird. Wait, why was Spider-Man? Oh, shit, what one are you talking about? Spider-Man? No. one? It was Resident Evil oh, 4, a game that came out on every platform. Well, it's the best one on PlayStation, I guess. Okay, these, these, this is... Hey, to those of you who don't understand why fighting game seeding is important, it's because of shit like this. Why wasn't Spidey even on the- that doesn't make any That's sense. Really strange. It's the only wow. game that I can think of to be actually exclusive. Alan uh, Wake and Spidey were fun. Thank you to absolutely everybody but their who actors voted were up for, for awards Resident and their games were up for so different awards. At Capcom. Uh, sadly, the developers couldn't be here today to accept this award, so you have somebody slightly less important to <laughs> pick up. Um, but we did get a, a, a message from them, so I'm going to hand it over to our director and producer of Resident Evil 4. So over to them. Thank you. Oh, we're going to be a lot nicer to Jeff. Oh, yeah. 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 リメイクするにあたってファンの皆様の期待に応えることへのプレッシャーを感じながら<笑> ムリオダウンロードコンテンツも配信予定です。今後とも、イスエンズイビル4、よろしくお願いいたします。それでは本日は、ありがとうございました。It's looping but Look before we get there, we have one final teaser to check out. Here is an exclusive teaser for Everywhere, the new community-driven world-building game from Build-A-Rocket Boy. Oh, I remember seeing this and being like, oh, this looks like a fucking NFT scam. We started signing back in 2016. Boo! <laughs> I know, I do too, creepy porpoise. It changes fast, so this is a vision that came about players play games, this technology was ready for it. We're trying to I think we all need to apologize to Jeff Keighley. Yeah, I, I actually, I don't. I, I actually have said good things about Jeff Keighley many times. Uh, you know what, they cut the feed, and you know what, that's fine. That's fine. Uh-oh. That's great. Is you that happening everywhere? Or is that just us somehow? 
you know? Should we refresh? Should we refresh? I guess we should, right? I mean, I'd, I'm oh. going to do it. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. I fixed it. There was a crash. Okay. Players can experience multiple the founder of Build a Rocket Boy. What? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh. Do you hear people laughing? I did. That game cool looks like a scam. I swear to God. Like, do I come up now? Uh, find out more about everywhere during PC Gaming Show Most Wanted, which airs on November 30th. Before we get to the ultimate game of the year, you're going you to it. take a brief look into the future with the help of CD Projekt Red's Gosha Mitrega, Ugh. who's here to crown the winner of the Most Wanted Game Award, which is presented by FGS. So let's give Gosha a hand, shall we? You okay, honey? Yeah, can you take him? My arms are getting yeah, tired. Yeah, baby. Oh, he's cute. He's, he's laughing. Oh, he's laughing at me. Hello. I love him. Yeah, he wants to bounce. Ooh, okay, so first of all, it's very nice to be here oh. and oh it's so quiet oh my head, thank you <laughs> now I'm more stressful uh, yeah <laughs> guys uh, first of all uh, I'm really uh, my name is Gosami Trenga and I have a pleasure to be an ex executive producer for the Witcher new saga uh, but I'm thank you and yeah and hopefully maybe yeah someday but here again uh, but uh, guys uh, oh I'm sorry we I'm shush, really we shush the baby I think sorry uh, first of all because, did they shush in the audience um, Golden Joystick is my favorite award Did they because shush it the comes audience? for the community. Yeah, it's just the audience. And oh because God. we win today two awards, I really want to shout out thank you to all the players that stood by us all the time. So thank you for that <laughs> once again. Um, yeah. Mm, uh, but second of all, uh, congratulations to everyone You're here stinky. and everyone uh, <laughs> online that were nominees and won You're today stinky, because this baby. is a. Really a honor to be among all of you, and I know how much hard work is behind that. So thanks and congratulations to everybody here, actually. Uh, but yeah, but now to the point because we are almost ending the uh, the event today. So I have a pleasure uh, to present the most wanted game today. This year, 20 titles were battling to win your hearts and the excitement of the player. So please. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Let's see uh, the nominees for the most wanted uh, award 2023. Thanks, man. Thanks for plugging me in. You plugged in, babe. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. Star Wars outlaws. Yeah. I don't. Does anyone? So these are the most wanted upcoming, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's probably gonna win. Yeah. Tekken eight is four. Oh. No. no, that game's never gonna come out. That one. Oh yeah. Paige will make me stop playing it in the house again. No, just mute it. <laughs> it's actually no, it was the colors. Now that I remember. Silk song. Here, give back to me. Come here, you big. Some of these aren't even real games yet. Yeah, but it's not about that. It's about how much you want it, Patrick. What the fuck is that? Oh, come on. We want it so bad. Oh, that's the game about the cum priests. Yeah, the where's, where's Yakuza 8? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, for real. I know already. <laughs> and the most wanted award this year goes to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Yeah. Of course. Totally unshocking. Of course. Oh my god, it's 10 a.m. already? Yeah, Paige. Please Jesus Christ. I haven't gotten anything done today. Well, no, we're doing this. Oh, yeah. This, this is a thing that we're doing. Dude, I can't tell you. Okay, not to be weird, I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten during the stream that we're streaming. We're in front of a camera. Yeah, but I forget sometimes. Well, luckily, we're not in front of a camera. That's also true. Ah, do not tell me when I'm holding the baby. Crazy? 
non brave soul there? Or? <gasps> oh, 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 come on, oh, come on. I could have fucking throw up, dude. What? Oh, it's looping again. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Dude. Dude, there. Oh, man. There is going to be. There is going to be a fucking screaming match like 10 minutes at the, after the end of this. This is great. I love it. Someone is getting, like, chewed the fuck out. I will be honest. This makes me want to watch again next year. So, I mean, I guess. What can you do? Oh, Jesus. Come on, wheels, stay on. We're almost there. <laughs> Congratulations to Square Enix. Our final award is next, <laughs> and it is a big one. Of course, oh, we're talking try. about the ultimate game of the year, which is presented by Games Radar. Now, this is our most coveted award of all in an exceptional year of critically yeah, acclaimed sure games. What is happening oh, with the microphone right now? <laughs> what do you say? Where are you at? I want to see. What, what table is this right here? What table, what table or number are you guys? You're 10? 10, make some noise. You're nine? Make some noise, nine. Oh you guys God. were cheering during that last one, that's great. That's good noise. All the other noise, not so good. Oh. Good noise, I'm good. not so good oh. noise. Good oh. noise, oh. not so good noise. Oh. We got one more oh. left. <laughs> oh my God. All right. See the Baldur's Gate guys. Yeah, like, oh. So yeah. this is going to be. We've had so much of the, uh, so much that we've had to create our biggest list of nominees ever, and some amazing games still missed out. So there are games that you, the players, decided were the best of the best. So don't blame me if your favorite didn't win. So without further ado, unless your favorite was Baldur's Gate 3, I have bad news for you. And crown the Golden Joysticks Awards Ultimate Game of the Year for 2023. Over to you, Amelia. Yeah. Oh, wait, Amelia's gonna present it? No, it's her voice. Well, is that still her? Yeah. Ultimate Game of the Year. And number five, it's Final Fantasy VI. Oh, they're doing it in number. Oh, I love Number Finn four. 16. Resident Evil 4. At number 3, we have Marvel Spider Man 2. I can't. Why was that available for this award but not the I PlayStation one? At number 2, it's. The Legend of Zelda, Tears yeah, of the Kingdom. Yeah, what did I fucking say? I told you Zelda was the only Baldur's one that could have beaten Baldur's Gate. Ultimate Game of the Year 2023 is... Oh, come on. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam. I'm the Great Version Chief of Games Radar. And the winner of Ultimate Game of the Year is... We, we all know. Baldur's Gate 3! Yay! Yay! Please welcome Larian Studio Studio to the stage. Oh my God! You know how like he said that he had nothing prepared? Yeah, he had nothing prepared, but he flew half the studio out to the oh. show. <laughs> That's true. Europeans don't know what far away is. Wow. Well done. Well done. Yeah, oh my God. Wow. Team. Um, <laughs> team. Yeah. Um, thank you. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's cute. I love that. So I, I, I think this is going to be our most coveted award because it was voted for by players and uh, we, we make it for them. I mean, like, and there's, yeah, there's nothing better than uh, making a difference Aww. in someone's lives, playing your game, 
knowing that they have a little escape. Oh, that nervous guy has a fucking tattoo yeah, of the absolute on his arm. Oh, really? This is the reason awesome. why we all do this thing. This is the reason why all of you do uh, what we are doing. So uh, thank you incredibly, very, very, very much in a very Belgian way. Thank you very much. Uh, so thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's, there's, there's one thing I would like to add, right? Um, there's a lot of stuff that people forget. Um, as game developers, we have people at home, our partners, our kids. And, you know, when you work on a game that's like six years long, right? It's insane the amount of things you do, the amount of people that pass away, the kids that get born. You know, it's, it's an insane thing. So it's really nice to... Uh, you know, share what we've done throughout all these years with everyone, and it's, it's just beautiful. I, I hope you all feel this, right? But, because yeah. we all, oh, uh, we I, I all go through saying. this. I see what he's saying. Now Thank someone you. just slowly push him. Oh, Neil's standing up. Yeah, Aww. push. See, look, they pushed him. They pushed him out. Aww. I mean, I see what he's saying. It's true. That was sweet. I get it. He's just a little drunk. Such a good vibe. Come on, give it up for one more time. Congratulations. Larry in Studios. Absolutely smashed it. Only 6 p.m. there? Yeah. They're it, so drunk. It, to page. everybody here, I have no idea what this is going to say, but to everybody here, I just want to say again, if you it's shipped England. a game this year, if you How are they supposed a game to... in any way this year, you're a winner. You beat the odds, you overcame the obstacle, you're all winners. Congratulations. Larry wins more than you, of course, but you're all still winners. Um, it's been a hell of a year for gaming. And that is the end of this year's Golden Joystick Awards. Yay! It's been an absolute honor. Yes. It's been an honor to be your guy tonight. I hope my jokes made you groan a little, but not too much. I want to thank our, our sponsors for sure, Intel, as well as everyone who poured their heart into making our first live show back in a long time feel really, really special. Yeah, I want sure to thank did. thank everybody who cast their votes. Uh, thank you for letting these game studios know that you care and how much their games have meant to you. It's been a privilege to shepherd the world's longest running video game award show, even just for a day. What? Uh, huh? And here's to many more. I don't. Uh, before I, I go I and collapse and have more of these, I just also want to thank everybody who tuned in at home and, of course, the very captive Rex? audience in the room. Give yourself a hand uh, for what has been a truly remarkable year. All right. Oh. What does he mean by that? Uh, and I don't if you know. want to check out any of the games uh, that, that we mentioned today, the fantastic nominees and the winners, head on over to our Golden Joystick Awards page on Steam. I am Troy Baker. Be kind. Keep playing games. We'll see yeah, you, you next tell year the to at be next kind. year's Golden Joystick Awards. Good night. Yeah, Paige, it's 6 p.m. How are they supposed to get in their cars without getting a little sloshed? First? Patrick, I knew, I knew. <laughs> oh, God, that was incredible. If I, I have a baby in my hands, so I can't clap, but if I could, I would. That was a thank you. That was great. Ow, that hurts. Ow. Clapping for Paige. Thank you. Oh, are you sad because it's over? Me too. Don't be sad because it was over. Be sad that it happened. Yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> that was incredible. Okay, but bye now. Oh my god. Hey, we're gonna be right back. We're gonna put the we're gonna put the baby in the house and clean his butt. And then I'll be back and yeah. I'll thank you, nice people, for yeah, showing we'll right up back. to the show. Hey everyone, we're back. I'm I'm being joined by a very annoyed gentleman. Sir. Sir. Paige will be on her way to soothe him shortly. Yeah, his, his butt has been cleaned. Sir. Sir. Why is he mad even? This is the sound of the reaction to the golden joysticks. <laughs> it's okay, little guy. It's okay. Troy Baker's gone. The scary man is gone. Oh no. Oh no. It's okay. That's how I feel inside. Here, I'll grab him. I'll grab him. I got him. 
He's a mad little guy. Evil villainous raid. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you for the raid. Thank you for the raid. From Villainous, villainous Bell. Bell. Ooh, what a great name here. Oh, I think I got him. Oh, you got him. Hey, Stinky. I gotta bounce his legs. Yo, I watching Troy Baker seethe. Seethe. The highlight of my week. Seethe. That was so funny. And then his bow tie tried to escape. Incredible. His boy boy tie. Sorry, his, his boy is his, his boy bow, tie. His right. bow tie knew what was up. All right. Oh. I'll, here, let me let me take him so he doesn't he doesn't yell at chat. He was yelling at chat a little bit, but I he was <gasps> yeah. just he was just the id of of our all of our collective he ennui. He really is. He really is. And you know, a special thank you uh, and shout out to the prostitute <laughs> under the stage. She did her best, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know, I'm sad too, honey. But Baldur's Gate 3 won, hooray! Hooray! Can you say, hooray! You know, okay, yeah, you don't want tried. to? That's he fine. tried, he tried. That's okay. He tried. All right. Here, I can hold him and Well, you gotta sit around. down for Oh, you wanna walk oh, him no, around? I'll just walk him around. Okay. Here we go. Come here, stinky. Here, little stinky. Oh, my stinky boy. That baby's an Alan Wake fan. He's a writer, you know. Oh, okay. Well, that was a show. That was a show, wasn't it? <laughs> you see what Quake Quake penned? What, what did Quake Quake say? Oh, that's incredible. This is a baby. Yeah, uh, that was uh, that was one of the shows of all time. That was one of the shows of all time. Uh, I'm ab like maybe maybe it's a, a minor thing in the grand scheme of things. I'm absolutely like baffled. They said, "Hey, some games might not be available for some categories because they came out too late." But then those same games were available for for awards. Hey, babe, can I turn out these lights? You can. I think he's tired. Like, just absolutely baffling. Like, the PlayStation Award, every single fucking game in that came out on other platforms. What makes it PlayStation? I don't know. Also, counting down the ultimate game of the year, like, by the, like, in, in sequential order is, like, an absolute fucking, like, dick move. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. It's so toxic. Here, can you take that? I'm going to try to feed him. This was a shared delusion. All right, let's thank the people. I'm going to thank the people, starting with Gabe Sweetman. Thanks, Gabe Sweetman. Hey, what's up, Pat? How's little guy Ron? He's good. He's a little grumpy because he's off schedule. Yeah. Come here, bucko. Uh, I recently, myself, completed a rewatch of Deep Space Nine, and now I've rediscovered the joy of recounting Star Trek episodes with hilarious... Well, oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. With hilarious what? With hilariously misleading, accurate descriptions. Remember that episode where Frank Sinatra was the lovematic grandpa? I do remember that episode. I remember that episode vividly. Vividly. That is real. Do you think Troy killed Jordan? I think that that's happening right now. Is what I fucking think. Exodus here, sub, so did Outermost Ghost. Thank you, guys. Scary Boy Supreme sub, she gold on my joystick until I video games. Am I right? You sure are, buddy. You sure are. Oh, he's real hungry right now. Yeah, it's not, not his usual thing. I think he's tired... And also hungry, but he doesn't want to eat. You know it's what I'm possible saying? he's tired of our bullshit. I think he is. Strafe and shoot sub to say goo 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 sa -za. Thank you. Thank you. Space Bowie sub. Ready to see what happens. I've gone from always hoping for the best to hoping for what will be the funniest. Well, you won today. Oh, good night, Villainous. Oh, we're going to finish up our stream relatively soon anyway. Thank you, though, Villainous Bell. Though I am going to be streaming Baldur's Gate later today. That's right, the golden joystick ultimate game of the year, Baldur's Gate. Sweep. The Sweep. Sweep. Anonymous kicked in five bucks. Thanks, man. Um, oh, interesting. 
Anonymous kicks in five bucks anonymously, I might add. I know AI bad and all that, but I feel like people are just ignoring a lot of the cool shit you can do with it. Those experiments with Skyrim companions that are spawn to you on zero budget shows what actual money could do with that. So there's a couple things going on here. One, I saw those Skyrim companions and they seem like shit. Um, having something exist, being something being good, are two wildly different things that most of the AI bros can't seem to discern the difference between. Um, and also describing an AI creation as being zero budget only makes sense if you ignore all the labor that the creation of that device stole from people that didn't sign off on it. It's not zero budget, it's like stolen budget. So... And then there's all the, all the ethical stuff. Oh my god, Paige left the room and I didn't notice, and I heard weird kissy noises, and I thought it was like a monster. But it was Paige, it was Paige kissing the baby. Roar, I'm gonna kiss you, roar! <laughs> like, every now and then you see, like, an AI guy being like, look, look at this incredible thing. Soon we'll have real video games, and it's like a fucking low-budget VTuber talking to you with Microsoft Sam voice. And it's like, whoa, wow. It's like... It's a bunch of people who don't know if something is good going, oh, it's the future. Um, like, I think this, I, Anonymous, I think the Skyrim voice thing that you're actually describing is kind of perfect because I saw that and I was like, wow, that looks like shit. <laughs> Uh, Mike, Mike, change your name. Ch change your fucking donation name. Mike. Is that, is that Mr. Hunt? Yeah, it's Mr. Hunt. Mr. Hunt. I always call him Michael Hunt. I just say, I just call Mike. him, I just call Hunt. him Mike. Hey, Mike, yo, fat man, mustard lady, I want the baller to win, but Zelda gonna win. Well, you were wrong. You were gotcha, happy. Gotcha, Mike. Congratulations. I think one of the funniest things I've seen today is like a, a, a tweet from an AI bro getting super mad about uh, artists glazing their art, which is making it so that when you steal their art yeah. to put it in the data set, it poisons the data set and fucks it all up. Like, how could they do this? I'm like, they just did it. It's theirs. They can do whatever they, they, they can do whatever they want. If I, if I say Pat's Donuts and write Pat's Donuts on it, and then fill it with fucking Carolina Reapers, and then you eat the donuts that say Pat's Donuts on it and shit your ass to death? That's not my fault. Well, that depends. Do you eat- can you prove that you eat the Reapers? No, I don't have to. They're mine. Ah, uh, I see. They're mine. I told people not to eat them. So it's not actually illegal, as long as he would eat it. It's only illegal if it's poisoned. Yeah, I, but not if it's food. I'm not poisoning it. Carolina Reapers are a food. <sighs> Although that's why people put, you know, what's the word? Uh, ingredient list, you know. But mm. I see what you're saying. No, hey, hold on, hold on. What if I be like, hey, don't eat my food. It's got, it's really spicy on it and then somebody eats it and complains about being spicy and then i shoot them with a gun um well you know i probably won't get in trouble for the food you know there's at least one illegal thing to do in there yeah i stood my ground haha <laughs> oh, uh, they stole my lunch anyway be moral kicked in a sub big awards thank you be moral <laughs> goat meal sub predicting announcements is old news it's all about predicting stage rushers now i'm betting on at least three no there were no there were no there were no stage rushers oh raziki slice rated the channel oh we thanked you earlier but thank you again uh t-man 451 and black mage 99999 sub thank you guys shark missile sub to say yay larian well it was a good day for yay larian Master Key 420 Blunt Ninja Sub. Honestly, the Terabad production values make me make this more entertaining than the Game Awards. I it, it made it something. 
Anthro Metal sub. Thank you, Anthro Metal. So did Nichos and Mornica. Thanks, guys. Sucker Punch Sid kicked in a sub to say 55. I'm not really sure why you said the word 55, but okay. Zatheo subbed. I had to jump through so many hoops to spend Google Play credits here. It might have been worth it just to pay for the sub and let the credit lapse. I don't think I've ever used a Google Play credit. But thank you. Uh, let's see. Edgy Salad kicked in a sub to say woo. Woo. It was it was a mistake. Oh, sorry, Sucker Punch. Planeswalker L kicked in a sub. Thank you. So did Hacks Metatron and Taddy Gal 67. Thank you. So did Maxo Stream. Thank you, Maxo Stream. Goose Attack Almanac kicked in a sub. Just popped in. The first thing I see is Troy Baker appear. Sadness. Don't worry. He was much he sadder was, than you. He was the best part, I think. He was wonderful. And of course, Ben Starr and Neil Newbaum. Of course. Yeah. Obviously. I think the funniest thing about the uh, the only person to have ever written into my my thing with like, hey man, maybe AI is cool, did so under an anonymous donation. <laughs> uh, thank you though. Sucker Punch Sid kicked in five bucks, so I messed up my donation. But regardless, what a show. I have not laughed that hard in a while. Hope you're doing well. Happy 59 months, not 55. Thanks, Sid. I appreciate it. Meg Boy Manuel kicked in a sub to Meg say boy. it Megan birthday today. Oh, happy birthday, Meg. Happy birthday. How's bad been doing, Pat? Have you guys recovered your sleep schedule yet? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, he's he's actually usually a really good sleeper so far. Yeah, he's, he's a good baby. He's heading into the sleep regression era. So. Where he's learning new skills. So we'll see about when that happens. Ooh, our, our, uh Villainous Bell, again, thank you for rating the channel. That's, Many thanks. That's Villainous Bell. Ethan Mage kicked in five bucks. Thanks, Ethan. The Joystick Awards for all this bullshit was more wholesome than the Game Awards. A show where the Dorito Pope with ex-Naughty Dog judges saying how games should be compared to movies. I'm happy other award shows exist, even the bad ones. I don't know, seeing that this was fan-voted, and then they understood that it was fan-voted, so they juiced a bunch of the categories to give awards to people they wanted it to win anyway, kind of ruins the whole thing. Right? Where they're like, here's the Breakthrough Award for this game. What's wrong with it being fan voted? Because popularity is not an indication of quality. Like the Nintendo Game Award. That was really funny. Have you seen like Metacritic user reviews? It's not good. It's something called the tyranny of the majority. Um, like Mortal Kombat should not have won its own award. Maybe I'm just a hater, but also I'm a huge hater that's been hating for a while, so I know it. Teddy Roosevelt sub. Thanks, Teddy. As dudes kicked in a sub, so remember Morbius? Ha <laughs> ha, that was wild. Well, bye. Black Suit kicked in 10 bucks. Thanks, Black Suit. Hi, Mom and Dad. Just wanted to say thank you for the lovely streams from both of you. Been a bit down lately, but happy to see you guys. Much love for me. Also, have you seen that video? That vid of you look like a busted can of bis biscuits. So cute. Oh, I have. We have. It's the, it's the guy telling the baby he looks like a busted, oh, busted can of biscuits. And the baby yeah. gets all big lip. And go, yeah. yeah, it's great. I love it. Also, thank you. AI bro kicked in five bucks. Thanks, AI bro. Hey, Pat, just saying when I said zero budget, I meant the mod maker made the AI thing with zero budget. I mean, mod makers make everything with zero budget. <laughs> if companies invest in AI and make something actually good, it would be cool. And yes, a lot of AO bro AI bros are waiting for it to get good. So I'm going to be blunt with you. I'm old now, and I have, I have sat around and watched like multiple technical innovations, been told that it's the future, and that you just have to wait for it to get good. Um, I am not w one over like we're, we're on like the fourth or fifth run on VR right now. <laughs> it's, it's, 
Uh, and every single thing about AI is like de facto immoral or, or at least unethical. Like I remember Meta was talking about how if they lose this lawsuit to steal everybody's words and video that they will go bankrupt because they would have to pay for it and they can't afford it. They just thought they'd be able to steal it forever. It's like it's it's nonsense. It's complete garbage. Ark Pronimus kicked in a sub. Thanks, Ark Pronimus. Thank both you and all the entertainment over the years. Please pet the fur babies when you are able. You, Paige, and Gowron are adorable as a family. Aw, thank, thank you. Thank you. I also need to point out, I say I'm old, uh, and I've seen a lot of shit like this. And you can always go like, yeah, you're not ready for the future, old man. But it's more like, as I've gotten older, the, the time it takes for me to realize that something is a criminal-ass pyramid scheme has decreased in time. So, I remember when NFTs started to happen... And me and a lot of people who are older and more jaded were like, that's a motherfucking pyramid scheme. Like day, like day one, <laughs> like day one, like, oh my God, that's a, that is a fucking pyramid scheme. And the saddest thing is that pyramid scheme attracts like a certain amount of people forever. You can't, you cannot protect people from pyramid schemes because some people will just fall for them every time. And AI is not a pyramid scheme. It does do something. Um, it, it it's part of the, it, it's the natural outcrop of here's your illegal taxi service, your illegal hotel service. Uh, your, and here comes your plagiarizing, plagiarism machine. Like if, if people said, Hey, I, we have a new version of the plagiarism machine. Then I'd be like, I'd be like, well, okay. At least you're honest. Like I, there are a couple game companies that came out and said, Hey, we did AI, but we fed the company's art into it for ideas for brainstorming and it's like okay well that's something i remember seeing ai guys fight over who did the best prompts and it was like embarrassingly masturbatory uh aoko kicked in five bucks thanks aoko i was really impressed by the golden joysticks awards the 12 year old they hired to run the obs did a really good job for his age oh yeah for real also, I mean, I really have to say that oftentimes one of the easiest ways to look at whether or not the technical or social uh, cause that you're championing is, if you're surrounded by the biggest fucking losers you've ever seen in your life, you might want to move off of it. So, like, when if you were, like, way into crypto back when Bitcoin happened, and then you were doing more crypto... And then you got into NFTs and you looked around and every single person in your vicinity was a fucking dipshit, grifter, scammer, loser, piece of fucking garbage. And some of them were going to jail over it. You may have wanted to take that as a hint to back off it. <laughs> if you're talking to your friend who you listen to for all financial advice and he tells you that he's going to have a hard time coming to work because he was blinded by the fucking... UV lights at the Bored Ape Yacht Club concert. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe that's a sign. Something, something, staring at the sun. Something, something, Icarus. A Blue Warden kicked in a sub. Howdy, watching Bad Game Awards is a good way to get through a Friday. It sure is. Oh, Ligma, it was incredible. It was wonderful, wasn't it? Ligma, you're going to want to watch this VOD. <laughs> you're you're going to want It's, oh boy. And Ithon Mage kicked in five bucks. Thanks, Ithon. Let me give an argument. No recent AI trends, not an algorithm. It's the person pulling the trigger and promoting it. Good example, fans upscaling Zelda 64's textures. Yeah, that's right. So um, people used uh, uh, early AI algorithms to do stuff like upscale, uh, like Resident Evil games old stuff or Zelda's textures. Bad person. Hey, I would have paid a person in exposure anyway. Uh... Yeah, so those used, like, publicly available, like, I think, data sets that were, like, for that purpose. Uh, instead of just, you know, combing the whole internet to steal everyone's art. I don't know. Pat's a VTuber now? No, I just got a big face. Big face. All right. Uh, time to go now. I'll see you guys in f six and a half hours. For Baldur's Gate 3. 
Okay, bye-bye now. Say bye-bye, baby Gower. Oh, you just...